Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky. Oh, we've got a lovely show today. Sunday morning, my first ever Sunday show today, covering for our Debs this morning. Uh, very, very excited to be with you, especially as we've got uh, uh, somebody who I've known for so, so long and we've never been on air together. So those of you that all know Rachel, Rachel Magnolia uh, from the fan page, then yeah, she's joining me this hour and at 10 o'clock. Today, though, we have got a jam-packed show. I think Neil kind of set the bar yesterday, didn't he? I was like, come on, Kat, we've got to pull some goodies out of the bag. Because I know that, uh, yeah, yeah, Neil um, kind of sport you rotten yesterday, didn't he? So why don't everybody who managed to secure all of their products with free PMP, he, uh, yeah, was very, very, very generous indeed. Today, we've got such beautiful products. We've got the most amazing show. So just enjoy your nice chilled Sunday morning. Pop the kettle on. I've had my round of toast. Sit and enjoy today's show. In fact, yeah, I have had two cups of tea. They weren't decaf, so that's probably better, isn't it? I can't I have too much caffeine this early in the morning. But we've got um, a brilliant show. I will talk you through exactly what we're going to be doing um, after the early bird because I want everybody to open their order nice and early. We talk about today's early bird every single day. We mention different ways of marking your fabrics. Marking tools are a big part of crafting and sewing. And I love a product that actually probably wasn't, it wasn't actually uh, initially invented for sewers. We stole it, us, us crafters stole these. And um, we mention them all the time. Every single guest designer that comes in will, um, well, I'm probably making a bit of a broad statement there, but majority of the people that come in and they bring their choice of marking tools are friction pens. We've got the bundle of all four colours as well. So you've got the green, you've got the red, we've got a black friction pen and a blue friction pen. So depending on what fabrics you're using, they're always going to show up and at an early bird special price. So, da, 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 da. there you go, big saving today. Great chance to open your order nice and early. You're saving three pounds. Basically saving your, your P&P, aren't you there? Uh, just 11 pounds and 96 pence. So, originally, let me um, grab a piece of paper because they were originally actually made for writing on paper. Uh, and this is what I love about them. I actually wrote out all of my wedding invitations with a friction pen. Do you know why? Because, say I'm, um, you know, to Paul, and then you think, do you know what? I don't know whether I do want Paul there, so you can <laughs> you can erase it with the rubber on the back on your paper. So that's brilliant, isn't it? Because I, I was thinking, I don't want to write out my wedding invitations in pencil, but uh, I also make a lot of mistakes, not with inviting Paul, <laughs> with um, you know. Uh, writing names wrong. So that's what's really handy. Are we saying this is like every female in my life that's ever been in my life, you're bringing back bad memories. So we've got all of the different colours, red, black, green and blue. So as I say you can erase it on paper. Now that's great but how do we use this in the crafting world? If you are a dressmaker, a quilter, a bag maker, a toy maker, if you make soft furnishings, whether it be cushions or anything, these are going to be so handy. I find other marking tools, don't get me wrong, they're great and there's a time and a place for, for chalk and tailor's chalk. find tailor's chalk sometimes quite messy and, uh, you know, a bit of a faff to, to scrub out. Same with water erasable pens. Unless you're throwing your project in the wash at the end, if you're doing a big quilt and you're marking out a big quilt um, to do your quilting lines, you're then you know, spending a bit of time dabbing with a damp cloth, making sure that they're all erased. Um, the Oh, the air erasable ones, sometimes if we've got the air conditioning on, a window open or in different temperatures, they can just disappear. So I find these are brilliant. Now I've got a few different fabrics here. And the great thing about having the bundle in today's early bird is that you can see which colours, I'm not doing this very accurately, but just so you can see what colours are going to show up. So if you're doing any of your seam allowance, if you're doing any, um, I'm thinking any notches, transferring any patterns, or just wanting to mark where zips need to go, or pockets need to go, or um, bags need to go. See the green, let's try the green on the green. It still, it still shows up, but I would still use, probably I'm doing this on a, um, on a cushioned surface. If you're doing this on your table, it will be even clearer. You ready for the magic? My best magic trick. Oh, in fact, actually, do you remember, um, oh yeah, Paul yesterday saying I did some pretty good magic tricks yesterday. Cat saying it didn't work. 
didn't work. So there's all my markings. It will stay there. It's not going to disappear until you use heat. Straight away, they disappear. Straight away, it will disappear. If we're doing it with a viscose, this is a viscose, so if you're doing any of your, um, any of your lines on a viscose fabric, again, marking any of your darts, they will disappear when you're pressing. Now, I must say one word of warning, in extreme cold temperatures, the markings come back. Now I'm talking extreme cold, so if you're putting your um, quilt in the freezer or if you're going in the hold of a plane, it has been known somebody who was taking their quilt to a competition, it went into the hold of a plane and then the, the markings come back. So yeah, just be aware of that. Also, um, I've got a really good excuse, instead of the dog ate my homework, if you do it in friction paper and then laminate, in a friction pen, then laminate it, then of course the heat in the laminator will mean your friction pens disappear. So I know somebody did their homework with a friction pen and laminated it and then it was literally like the best excuse ever of um, what happened to your homework. So this is just a white cotton this time. Again, whatever markings you want to use with a bit of heat, just like magic disappears. Now this one, I've never thought of using it. I'm sure it will work. Let's have a go. I'm, I'm doing this live on telly, but it's worth what I would suggest is don't get me wrong. We've got different marking tools, different uses and different needs, but I would test it out just to check that you're happy with how it erases whatever you're, you're doing. So that one's like a hessian really, isn't it? It's like quite a dense fabric. Oh, again, yeah, that's worked really well. So straight away they disappear. Brilliant, isn't it? No matter what your craft is, no matter whether you're dressmaking, bag making, whether you're quilting, whether you're doing homewares, cottons, viscose, whatever you're using, or whether you're making notes, doing your writing your diary or doing important documents. You know, sometimes they always say fill out important documents in a ballpoint black pen. And you're thinking, hang on, I'm definitely going to have to do this form a few times so I don't make any mistakes. This is so handy that you've got the little rubber on the end as well. Or if it's on fabric, press it. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people just use these as their everyday pens in the car, in the office, in the kitchen, all the way around. Um, you don't use biros anymore. Cats said, don't use, don't use biros anymore. Use friction pens for everything. So very, very handy to do indeed. And it is today's early bird. A reminder, only while stocks last. The last few days, all of the early birds have sold out before 10 o'clock. So now is the time to make the most of it. It's a saving of three pounds on the bundle. In fact, we've been out of stock on the black friction pen for ages. So I'm really, really pleased that we've managed to get them in to do the, um, to do the bundle. Okay. Now, just before we get Rachel on, I just quickly, quickly want to mention, Rachel, I'm going to leave that iron hot there underneath, just so you're aware. Um, can I just quickly mention this? Because this is supposed to be on at, oh my word, this is supposed to be on at nine. It's not going to be on at nine, is it? It's not going to last. Now, I'm not allowed to open this because there's only three left and this is one of the, um, the do you want me to show it from here? This is one of the, the, the ones that you'll get at home, so I'm not allowed to open it. Did you see the photograph potentially on Facebook? Um, this is amazing. This is what you can make from this panel. They are huge. So the panel itself is, in fact, do you want to just bring in the graphics? There's three left. If you want it, just buy it now because I don't think this is going to last till, um, till nine o'clock. It's a sateen cotton. So it's so, so, so super soft. It's 99 inches by 108 inches. And you've got enough in here to do like your bedspread with cushions as well, matching cushions. You saw on the photograph um, all of the different uh, things that you're going to be able to make with these. And it's just the most gorgeous color, beautiful quality, wrapped up beautifully if you're gifting it. But again, can we show the picture, Paul, of, of what it is that it's going to make? $74.99 and sounds considered, but look at how much you can make, whether it be a wall hanging or a, a bedspread or a quilt, four cushions as well, and that little wall hanging. That's so good, isn't it? £74.99, loads for your money there. It is such gorgeous quality. Now, if I get a chance to show it again, at nine o'clock, I absolutely will, but I don't think we will. Also, just another heads up, I love this dress. 
Where you got my eye on it? It's beautiful. Um, this is the latest so different pattern that we have for you. Um, this is size 8 to 26. I really, really love that contrasting panel, but Rachel's made an option where you don't need to do the contrasting panel. It just gives this lovely, almost flouncy um, uh, sort of extra drape. It's so beautiful. So the flounce dress from So Different, fingers crossed we've got enough of these to go around because I heard what happened last week when Adele was here, it was so busy, every single one of the So Different patterns sold out. There's a reason for it. They're such beautiful quality. They're amazing dressmaking patterns. And I know that they give you great hacking options as well. A brilliant price on that one. So we're going to be launching it at 10. I'm not going to bring the graphics in now. But if you do want to get it, don't wait till 10. If you know that you want it, do make sure you check out. Also, I've not done any Christmas shows yet. Um, I keep, everybody keeps hogging Christmas. I know John Cole Morgan loves Christmas, but I do too. So we're going to do a bit of a half an hour stint. I haven't got my Christmas hat actually. I need to go and pinch one over from the jewelry maker set. Um, so yeah, we've got Christmas coming up. Only a half hour special. But uh, if we can do half an hour, it looks like everything's flying out already. Have a bit of a, an eagle eye on the website and see uh, what is available because we've got such beautiful panels. Now, should we talk about this hour? This hour, we're going to be making some bags. Now, I didn't know Rachel makes bags, actually. I know Rachel's a dressmaker. So we're going to talk to her about bag making today. This is a lovely book. And they're the two bags we're focusing on today. They're made by lovely Rachel. Shopper bag and the bamboo hangle ba bag. In fact, that's the one that we're going to be uh, focusing on. But the, ba the bag book itself, I mean, this features a lot of bags. Now... I was talking to Rachel earlier on about the price of this and I'm waiting to see. Yeah, it is. $9.99. That is fantastic value for money. Absolutely brilliant. You've got summer bags, how to lay out your fabric. I was talking about this earlier on with Rachel. We we're talking about me sewing. And I said, because obviously I watch loads of demonstrations, I think my head is almost um, beyond my skills. I, I compare myself to like a sports coach. I know what I'm doing, but then when I try and do it, when I get it home, like, oh, why is this annoying me? And it's mainly sort of the prepping side of it. So I love in this book that it talks you through all your cutting instructions. It talks you to, through even your fabric placement. So that's going to really help with this. The retro, I like that shape. Messenger bag, that'd be nice for a um, gent as well, wouldn't it? The one that we're going to be looking at, well, the two that we're sort of talking about today um, is the shopper bag, which I put a post-it note and I can't even find it. There we go. The shopper bag. I just love these. We're all thinking about sustainability and thinking about, you know, reusing, uh, obviously using our, our own shopping bags is a great way of, of just being um, kind to the environment. I think they make lovely gifts for people and the reversible shopper bag as well. I've not seen anything like this. And we've got the bamboo handles as well. We've got them. Just £9.99. Now, you do have all your templates in the back. We will talk to Rachel about those uh, in a moment. All your instructions are there. Even if you're not using it for um, a, a bag to take out, you just use it as back-of-the-door storage. I love all of this bamboo handle. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Just £9.99. That's your reversible shopper bag. So, love the book. It's really affordable at £9.99 as well. There's loads of projects. You've got 20 different bag projects. 20 different bag projects. Now, we've got four different uh, bundles. Two for with the bamboo handle and then two for the shopper bags. We've teamed it with Tilda as well. Absolutely perfect combo. So, you're getting a metre of each of your Tilda designer fabrics. It's not very often that we get to see Tilda outside of pre-cuts. Um, normally we've only seen sort of your fat quarters, so it's really lovely to see a whole metre of it. Even if you've got another bag in mind for these, this is absolutely gorgeous. $34.99, two metres of designer fabric, plus your prim bamboo handle. They're lovely, aren't they? In fact, the circular bags and circular handles very, very in at the moment. First saw them when I was in uh, Asia back in March, no, last year was it? It was last year, oh my word. This year is just, let's just 
get this year. Um, it was last year, and everywhere there were these round bags, and I've seen them so much more though this year here in the UK, and they are so, so popular. The other bundle that we have available is the blue colorway. So you've just seen the pinks. Look at these little quack quack ducks. 34 pounds, 99 pence for a meter of your blue. This is from the Plum Garden range in Blueberry. I keep saying I went blueberry picking the other day, I didn't, I went blackberry picking. I was just thinking, oh, I went with blueberry picking, I didn't. And um, Paul's offering me all these different blueberry recipes. I'm like, uh, no, they're blackberries actually. But blackberries still like, those realize they're just a bit more bitter, aren't they? Blackberry, I'm gonna make them a nice blackberry and apple crumble, I think. So you've got a meter of both plus your bamboo handle. They're just like, put them in your gin. That's what you do with blue blackberries. I'm still saying blueberries. Handle on its own, right? If you've got fabric at home that you want to, um, to use up, but you want to make the bamboo uh, handle style bag, just $11.99 for those. Low on stock on those on their own. We've tried to max out as many as we can into the bundle. So we are extremely busy today. £11.99, it is extremely busy today. Lovely to have you company on this Sunday morning. Hope you're having a nice chilled one. Let's have a look at the shopper bag bundles. Now, the tilde or other option is this one. Now, I love this bundle, full stop. I'm thinking shopper bag, yes, but metre tilde and a complimentary fabric. There's loads you're gonna be able to do with this. £18.49 for two metres of tilde. And that's almost like a Tilda-esque paisley print, isn't it? One metre of Tilda, sorry, and one metre of your solid complementary colour. Um, and then this one, we're not going to see Rachel making these, she made them up for us at home, but another great, uh, another beautiful fabric with a complementary, um, really hot pink fuchsia. You've seen the jacket behind me, there's the jacket. I know Janice made the, the jumpsuit using it. The bundle sold out yesterday, so it's another great chance to get hold of this fabric and it's so lovely and soft. So two metres of fabric, a metre of your floral, a metre of your complementary fabric. If you've got a bag in mind, then that's ideal. Loads of you checking out of that. Now, if you need any interfacing, we have some on the website. This is your medium weight interfacing. We'll talk to Rachel about where that is used. It's just £3.99 for a metre piece. Right, should we get her on? We have got so much to talk about um, with our Rachel. So do make sure you're checking out your baskets. As I say, it's very, very busy. This is just a quick reminder of how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back. Rachel, it feels <sighs> it's really surreal, actually, that I'm finally know. on air with you. How I'm, are you? I'm fine, thank you very Jolly much good. indeed, yes. Good. Um, I just wanted to just say a really quick thank you to all the viewers because I've had so many personal messages because I think they, it, they thought it might upset me if it was on the fans page. But, yes, my husband's doing really, really well, yeah, thankfully. Brilliant. Yesterday, he said, I've got something to show you, Rachel. I can squeeze your hand. He did it three oh. times. 
doesn't Amazing. sound much, but when you're paralysed down one side, Absolutely. that is one heck of a lot. Absolutely. So, so come on leaps and bounds. Yeah. But I know we'll be watching, so yeah. send in our love yes. to you, Gary. Hi, Gary. And I, I must say, this is a, a great thing about the Facebook community, because this is how we sort yeah. of know you and feel that we, we all know you I so know. well, is that you're a big part of the Facebook mm. community, and it's a lovely place, not only for tips and hints and sewing, but also I think it's just such a big family here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, almost definitely, you know, and, and the comments that I have when I advertise for this morning, so many, you know, oh, that's my Sunday morning sorted, yeah. so you know people are watching, yeah. and I'm just little old me, really, and obviously Vi and Vicky as well, of course, <laughs> you know, but well, uh, it's lovely. Uh, uh, Kat's already said to me this morning, don't worry, I won't be feeding loads of messages asking where Debbie is today, because last week, last Monday, when I was on for Debs, I know, straight away, where's Debbie? I'm sorry, I am coming to Debbie. She'll be back next week. She will be back in next week. Uh, if you've got any messages for Rachel, please do get them in. Don't forget any questions, any yep. messages. We're looking at bags. Now, I we didn't know you yeah. as a bag maker. Did you do a bit of everything? Well, <laughs> well I'm not. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, no, I basically, to be fair, um, I have made bags in the past. And because I'm a dressmaker, the, um, the producer said, well, we've got some bag making come up. How do you feel about it? And I thought, ooh, like that. And I thought, no, actually, you know, I'm just the same as the viewers looking at a bag for the first time. Yeah. And you just have to put your skills in a different way. Hang on a minute, I need to take my glasses off. I can't hear properly. <laughs> right, there we go. Anyway. As you do. That's like so, me when I'm in the car, I turn the music down so yeah. I know where I'm going. Like, how does that help? Like, it really helps. It's yeah, it does. I it don't really know where does. I'm going. It's because you're concentrating yeah. more on what you're doing. But, yeah, so, and I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. So and the book, how it was the book to work with? Because this yeah, is a brand new book to us. Yeah, very good, actually. It's very, very simple, very simply set out. Mm. Um, with any bag making, I'm guessing as this one, it's all in the preparation. Mm -hmm. So it's not five minutes just to make. Mm -hmm. It's probably 20 minutes to half an hour preparing. So you have to have a bit of patience. Then it's your 10 minutes sewing together. Oh, brilliant. So it's Do you see what a, I mean? Nice so, project. yeah, it now, is very easy. Now, must mention about the patterns as well, because they are obviously, um, they... They're trying to try and fit in as many instructions and, and different projects yeah. in there that yeah. they've actually put the templates in, but you do need to upscale them, don't you? You do. With a simple photocopier. Okay. Now, the pages, um, if people are worried about how it's going to print out on the paper, this is how clear it is Yeah. after it's been photocopied because oh, nice. they're printed on special paper in the book. Oh, okay. So that so that the ink shows up more on the paper. Fantastic. So the papers, um, you either need 200% or 250%. So where my studio is, obviously we've got a photocopier that I can use, but you can go into a post office, yeah. you can go into a printer. Oh, and it's pence, isn't it? Yeah, it's stationers, and it's just a few pennies per mm. page, so it's not a lot of money, and you've got it forever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of bags in here. You've got 20 different bags. Yeah. Working with Tilda, we're looking at a directional print as well, yes. so bear that in mind. Exactly. Out. Um, I was going to mention that as well, because as you can see with the Tilda, I'll just put it in view, you can see these two little ducks going down yeah. the middle. Now, I've purposely... For, put the pattern on the paper so that you've got this going all the way down the middle. Right. And that really looks beautiful on the bag. Mm -hmm. If you look at the picture of the bags that I actually made, you will see this going down. And oh, it just looks lovely. professional. Nice, yeah. You know, and if you were to buy, you know, especially especially with designer fabric, if you were to buy a bag like this in a, in a designer shop, you're probably talking 100, 150 yeah. pounds. Yeah, exactly. Really, you would be. Um, so you are saving yourself a lot of money um, and you're going to be one of the very few, really, that but are going to be it. going That's around it. carrying these bags. Beautiful. Yeah. It is absolutely gorgeous. So we've cut out our pieces ready to go so we can we get have. sewing. So this is the main piece, obviously. Now, what I do is I, I like mixing and matching my, my fabrics. Mm -hmm. So um, so what I do is I, I put this at the top and this at the bottom. Right. And then because this is a reversible bag, when it's reversed inside, this will be at the top and the black current will be at the bottom and it really looks lovely. Mm -hmm. 
or you could do, do it your own way really but that's what I like it just adds a bit of interest so just to start off with what you need to do to prepare obviously once you've cut out your shapes you do need to back it with the interfacing right is one packet enough you get a meter yes. piece in there yes that'd be enough it is yeah right, brilliant all right so um, I know you, you have a metre of each of the fabrics, but by the time you've cut out the shapes mm -hmm. and you cut them out on the fold, it is just a metre that you right. need. All right? Bam. So that's all done. So what you could do is, again, with your friction pens... Um, do I don't you like have a friction home. pen? I've never used one, but <gasps> I am now. Oh. I am now, especially when I saw the, the, um, the iron go on them. The magic. I don't know if I'd test it on a wedding dress quite yet. <laughs> But, um, but no, you no. should definitely. Well, maybe a spare piece of fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah do it on a little yeah. scrap and see. You know, instead of sort of right down the middle, then we'd, <laughs> we'd be in terrible trouble, wouldn't we? <laughs> so what I've done is I on the pattern, you will see you've got these dotted lines. That should be fine. Let's just. Do you want to bring it is a bit it towards there, you? A bit That's towards it. me. Yeah. Thank you. Um. So you've got these dotted lines, which is where you actually fold the fabric, and because this is on a fold, you'll end up with two lots either side. So when you put it on the fold, that's where you need that centre point on your fabric. Right. Okay. Just yeah. to pattern match. Um. So after you've done that, I've also cut out the notches as well because it's just easier just to put the bags um together. So just to remark it, I always put some pins in there as well, just to show where I'm, um, where I'm folding. So you just literally take the right hand pin, fold it over to the left hand pin, take out the under one, and then just pin that into place. So you can see that's a, that's a little tuck. Right. All right. Um, so you just do it with the other side. Take out the pin and underneath. And there you have little, little tucks. Oh, nice. Right? So what you do, just to keep it in place whilst you're sewing, I would just go down on the machine. Oh, sorry. I'm just going down <laughs> to the cellar. Sorry. <laughs> um, right, so we've got the pedal. Away we go. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going you to sew, sew on the across. Reverse or on the... Doesn't no, really doesn't matter. matter. See, Vicky's so quick. She <laughs> noticed that my pin was upside down. So <laughs> it doesn't actually really matter. Um, but all this is is just to stay stitch it in place. See, I told you I know what's going on. I do. You do. Yeah, she does. She knows. And you also know with black currant picking, don't you, <laughs> Vicky, that you never pick from the bottom. Did you know that? Oh, no. Little doggies walking around. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's a good point. I have washed them thoroughly. I still wouldn't want to eat them if I thought the doggie had walked along. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, no, Hayley. Hayley Marshall says watching and she's saying that she wants me to save her some crumble. Now, the last time I made yeah. Hayley some cake, she was very critical of it. And I'm still not letting you live that down, Hayley. So, no. <laughs> made so that's, lemon cake. So that's your first piece. Yeah. So I'm just going to move on to the second piece because we're obviously going to use this on the outside. So there's my pins going in there. You can probably just see my little pen marks, uh, which in future yeah, will can, be Frixian pen marks. Fabulous. We're converting you. Yeah. If, I, if I put my finger there, you might be able to see it. Oh, yeah, I can see Very that. Very slightly. Yeah. So let's pop a pin in there and we do exactly the same thing and how you can tell with the quality pattern is if it all meets up together how it should do and I was quite amazed that this one does. Oh lovely, that's good that, to know. It does show a quality of a, of a pattern. Good so really, money, isn't it? Ten pounds for the book. I, mean, I can't believe, patterns I there. thought you were going to tell me twenty. Yeah. Quite honestly. Yeah, well, I thought it was. It surprised me actually. Yeah. Less than ten pounds, and you've got twenty patterns in there. And I suppose when you learn these transferable skills, you can almost mix and match. If you think, do you know what? I want oh, a pocket yes. in there, or I want a zip in there, or I like that style handle. Absolutely. And although I'm a dressmaker, you see, we have 
Paints. Pin, pin tucks and clothes, That's don't it. we? Yeah, so it's transferable so skills. So it's all transferable skills. That was an echo then, wasn't it, Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm just going to just stay stitch that in place. You don't need to go backwards and forwards because it's just a stitch to hold it. And is that within the seam allowance? Um, yes, within, yeah, because yeah. you don't want the stitching showing okay. on the outside. Got my scissors here somewhere. <laughs> got them. We've got scissors We've got here. Little, there's lots ah, of little scissors here. They'll do. It's just to cut the thread. There we go. So then we have that's simply the two bottom parts of the outer bag. If you just bring it slightly to your right, that's it. That way? Perfect. Uh, not that far. No. Paul, he's ever so pernickety. There we go. I think about there. See, when we were on the show in, in November, Paul, you were going to take me out for a meal as though I remember. That's oh. never happened. Can you remember oh, maybe that? Maybe on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. yeah it's cheap at the moment, isn't it? Because Hannah was after my husband, if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it was all going on here. Oh, my word. I think John was hoping for a cat fight, but I don't go in for cat fights. Oh, he'll be watching. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Both the Johns are watching today. We've got John oh, Morgan uh, and John Scott watching this hi morning. Hi, John. Thank you for your support, John. He's lovely. And John Scott is. I'm oh, sorry. I, don't, I should. <laughs> sorry, John. John Scott is lovely as well. Just to make that point perfectly clear. <laughs> No favourites. I was going to say, you, you just said you didn't want a cat fight. My he wanted gosh. a cat fight. Oh, we're going to have a cat fight. Right, so when you've, what I would do, the method I would use, you've got to have right sides together. So this is the alternate, um, the top of the bag. Right. So you've got to have right sides together. So that flap has to go down. Just squeeze it again to the right. That's it. Perfect. All right. So that that's right side to right side. Yeah. Okay, upside down. Mm -hmm. So what I always do is I always press a little crease in there to show me where the middle bit is. And then because we've actually got that line going down in the middle of the bag, then just put a little pin in. So that's the centre. All right, so we've got two end pins and one middle pin. Mm -hmm. Then it makes it a lot easier. Morning everyone on Facebook, by the way. Loads of people tuned in to watch us on Facebook. This is what I love about now. We're streaming live every day on Facebook. You watch us on the move. Oh, I, I looked back at the comments, actually, from the other day. And what I like to see is everyone was saying, Oh, morning, Helen. Morning, Julie. Everyone was talking to each other on the, uh, the feed. <laughs> yeah, it's really lovely, actually. And everybody's friends on there. Yeah. Have you met anybody that's at any of the shows? Um... Only from Sewing Quarter, yeah. I met Becky Alexander yeah. Frost, who's yeah. no, a bag maker, and she was lovely. Obviously, John Scott. Um, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> there's, actually, there's actually a lady that lives in Swindon, actually, which is probably about 30 minutes away from me, because I live in a little village now. And I um, can't remember what the lady's name is. I'm sure if she's, if she's watching, you can just remind me. And I didn't know she lived in Swindon. Nice. So that was quite nice. Yeah, it's lovely to find people in your community. Yeah, that so as I, well. I think so. I so think do so. plenty of pins to make sure that it plenty all of pins. And I think together. when you're when you're learning something, yeah, I'm learning how to make bags. Okay, so I'm just the same as as you. All right, so I'm just doing it how I would starting off. If I'm making a wedding dress, then I tend not to pin very much because I know what I'm doing with that. But with bags, just start off really simple. Holds it all in place. So I'm just going to... Oh, by the way, this machine, 550. Now, I know you're used to a very big machine at home, aren't you? You've got yeah, the 720. Yeah, the 720. Which is an Elna as well, isn't it? It is. They are fabulous machines. I, I, It's my go-to machine every single time. We're, um, yeah, we're hoping that we can get some of the big machines back in. But what I love about the little ones as well is a lot of people who have got maybe the 680 or the 720s, they can yep. still come onto these and yep. know that it's a great, you know, yep. reliable machine. It's the only machine that we have that's less, to, less than 500 pounds. 
and I think this would be a great second machine that you know you might take to a relatives, or you might take on holiday, or you take to workshops, or if you are borrowing somebody's machine that you've been starting to sew on lockdown, I wouldn't call this an entry level machine. It's still you know a professional, gorgeous Elna machine, but um, you know not at those the, the the high cost. But it has got some great features on there. I mean, you know, to be fair, I mean, I, I'm a great believer in if you're serious about doing something, obviously don't go in at the high end machines and, until you're until you know what you're doing. And then, you know, obviously I sew professionally, but even a machine like this, even at 500 pounds, you're going to grow into the machine. Mm -hmm. So you, so you could sort of start paying lots of money for little machines yeah. that could add up to that one price. Absolutely, yeah, that's it. Do you it. see where I'm coming of from? Of course, yeah. We, I know that if you buy a machine, say, between the 100 and 200 pound range, you'll yeah. probably need to upgrade it pretty soon because yeah. you will outgrow it quite quickly. Yeah. Whereas this is a machine that I think you'll still yeah. be able to do lots of different projects that you want to do with it. Yes, yeah. and I'd say, you know, a cheaper machine, you know, really does a good job. You know, we mustn't knock them. Um, but um, I would say keep it as a spare yeah. and, and grow into a machine like this. Yeah, you know? good idea. Tony and Jill have messaged in. They've said, good morning, Rachel. Oh, Love yeah. and hugs. They're from the village and they're so supportive of me and Gary. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much, Jill and Tony. Hello, Jill and Tony. Good morning. <laughs> they treated me Come to and fish and... Come in. Oh, they treated you to fish and chips? Yeah, did they, so? they did last week. It was oh, lovely. Oh, nice. So, um... You know, when you're feeling a little bit down or, you know... Fish and chips always helps, oh, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> too right it does. Right, so that's the top. And it's lovely with the pleat, actually. It really yeah. makes a difference, doesn't it? Just add style. So when that's done, you need to iron it, but you need to iron... There is a reason for this as well, um, is that you need to... Uh, actually, we've we got a pressing yeah, mat. Yeah, there's a mat. Let's do it properly, shall we? <laughs> right, so what you need to do... Well, it's all here, isn't it? Which way are we pressing? Up. Right. All right, so you press up because you don't want to press down on the pleats. Okay. But there's a reason for this because you're going to stitch along. Yeah. So just press it up to the top. That's it. Make a really nice, neat edge. With bag making, would you use steam? Because I know quilters don't generally use steam. Dressmakers always are using steam. Yeah. The only reason I wouldn't use steam on this is because you've got it backed right. by the interfacing. Oh, okay. So if you use steam, it it undoes the glue. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when you're sticking the interfacing on, never use steam. Right, so use a nice dry iron. Absolutely. I mean, I do like steam, you know, to iron my clothes and things yeah. like that, but... Um, but when you're making, yeah, the interfacing can can sort of detach itself. So that's the front of the bag. Lovely. All right. Perfect. Let's so that's that one together. piece. So this is the second bit. And is that the back of it? That's the back of the bag. No. It well, no, Maybe it's so back and piece. front. Back and front. Yeah, right, back yeah. and front. Oh, of um, course, it's reversible, isn't it? Absolutely. So we do exactly the same again, but we have to have a back and a front to the to the bag. And then when you make the second one, you put them inside each other, mm -hmm. sew them together yeah. with the hoops. Yeah. Um, and then you've got two two bags, and when you put them inside out, yeah. it's the opposite way round. Oh, I love that. It's like one of those little dollies, isn't it, with the knickers on, and then you turn it upside down. <laughs> oh, and it's I heard about else. your dolly show with the knickers on yesterday. Last time oh, we did the... I, that was not deliberate at all. <laughs> I just had a certain pattern just in the wrong place. <laughs> unfortunately, it was. Cat's just informing Paul about it right yeah. now. <laughs> that is that was be so one of the funny. Best pattern. Oh. <laughs> Right. Oh, We've got about 15, so just less than 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes, okay. So just, just pin this up quickly. 
I think it's what you've done, and you do this automatically, but yeah. as a beginner, I wouldn't necessarily think of this, but if you do both ends and then the centre and then ease between the two, yeah, that's it exactly a lot better, it does. It? Yeah, it does. And an easing you'd use in dressmaking as well. Um, you know, even when I made this dress, you had still have to ease it round the curve. Right. Um, oh, I love that dress. Got my eye it's on gorgeous, that fabric. Isn't I it? love, it's lovely, love, isn't it? love that dress. Just looks so comfortable and easy to wear, which is exactly what I want yeah. at the moment after lockdown. And it's, and it's uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing, though. I no, know. you said. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've lost a stone, Paul. Where from? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just mean you've lost a stone. Well done. He collects stones, he means. Uh, yeah. On his walks. You know, years ago when I was growing up, we used to have this little, do little beagle dog. And I was just thinking of fruit, actually, when you <laughs> said about picking fruit. And um, my mum used to make a great big fruit cake oh, every nice. time we went camping because we used to go camping. And um, and we, this little beagle dog, mum had made this huge, I mean huge fruit cake because there was quite a few of us. And um, and then they went off shopping. They came back and this beagle had eaten the cake, <gasps> the whole lot. And its little tummy was like that. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, it was all gone. Because she put it out on the side to cool down. Oh. Um, so, do you know what? There's so <laughs> many of my friends that I know, a lot of people who say that they can't leave anything. No, to their you, dog. you just can't. My mum's and dog's it, so fussy. She won't even eat her own dog food. She's like, oh, no, I don't want that. She's so fussy. But the funny thing was, obviously, eventually, it worked its way down, didn't it? Oh, no. So we were all sitting more. in the lounge and then... <laughs> as um, Ranger, his name was, um, walked across the carpet. You saw these little currents going all the way along the carpet. Sorry if you're having your breakfast. Oh, I'm Everyone sorry. Who yes, I'm sorry. Fruit. Sorry. Everyone who's eating fruit loaf right yeah. now. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Beg your pardon. So, but it was funny. Put down your brownie, Paul. <laughs> of course, you can imagine kids think that's really highly hilarious. Right. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so again, I haven't been pressing. on the wines, honestly. <laughs> pressing towards. The top. Yeah, pressing towards the top. It looks like you've got a nice generous seam allowance there. Yeah, five eighths oh, I've nice. got, yeah. Which is the same as you would use in dressmaking. So this is what you mean, it's all transferable sort yeah. of skills and learning about different seam allowances. So anyone who's a dressmaker who hasn't really had a go at bag yeah. making before, have a go with this book. And the thing is, if you're making, you know, um, a dress for a particular occasion, you could use some of the fabric to match up with the dress, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. I do love Tilda. So, so do I. It's, it's lovely fabric. And this is the difference between, you know, Granny's old sheets yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, and a proper designer fabric. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so we've done that. So what I'm going to do now is right along there, this is why we've actually stitched this up and mm -hmm. pressed it towards the front. So now we're going to put a little stitch all the way along there. Oh, lovely. Okay, I suppose stitch. you could, at this point, use a decorative stitch on your machine. You can. You? Or a fancy thread. Yeah. There's loads you could do. There you go. <laughs> getting creative. <laughs> yeah. She is getting very creative. I've had a message come in from who, sorry? Hello, Amanda. Good morning. You're a what? A tonic. You're a tonic. I thought you said you're on the gin and tonic, Rachel. <laughs> No, you're a tonic. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Got about eight minutes. Yep. I'm just going to sew. I'll just sew one of these just so you can see, see what the, the what the effect is. It always holds it in the right place, it doesn't does. it? It does. Top stitching, I think, was all I always thought was just a decorative stitch, but actually it has it serves a purpose as well. It does. Yeah, it holds everything solid. So that's... That's stitched down. So you oh, can yeah, see it lovely. looks really professional now. And you just try and get as close and consistently yeah. to the... Uh, what I yeah. normally do is on your foot, you have where the where the middle of the foot is, and then you have like a little marker on the foot. So I use that... Ah, as a guide. As a guide. And then you get a nice straight line. All right? Lovely. So now we're ready to stitch them together. <laughs> it's really lovely and quick, isn't it? Yeah. So here we go at the top and the bottom. So 
I'm not going to pin it all the way around because it just takes too long, but it's quite easy to grab together. But if you're just starting to um, bag make, just put as many pins as you like in there just to hold it. Because after you've spent, um, you know, on the uh, fabrics, which are gorgeous, you you know, it'd be a shame, wouldn't it, just to, oh, well, just it to just ruin it. Just have it. Yeah, absolutely. Always match your seam up. Do you find telly sewing is different to at home sewing? <laughs> yes, because <laughs> normally I'm sat down. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So we've got that. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, you, you're you not time constrained either. No, exactly. So spend that bit more time yeah. at home. Yeah. Book is very, very popular today, by the way. It's only £9.99. It's been extremely busy. Lovely to have your company today. Really so, nice. You can see there, I've, all I've done is I've just down the sides, forget this for the moment, okay, which you'll see why, and then just stitch down the sides and down the bottom, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So I just really wanted just to try this so that people could see what the one side finished. Absolutely, that would be lovely. Which is nice. Together. Oh, and the, I, I'm not sure whether you've got it to hand, Paul, of the pictures as well that Rachel sent in to us because they were left at home, weren't they, by accident? I know you spent all that time making them. I know. Them. And you know, like, when you go that out the moment. front door, you think, right, I've put my bags there. I've got, yes, I've got my samples, that there and everything. What time did your alarm do? go off this morning, though? But it was early. Well, I stay in a local premier oh, that's inn good. overnight so I can have a good night's sleep. Good. And, um, you know, slap my makeup on so I haven't got lipstick up here yeah. or anything. <laughs> You've been watching my uh, makeup tutorial. You've been learning from me. <laughs> I know. I, I did see one tutorial with your husband. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I think that was the lockdown, wasn't it? Vicky? Yeah, it was. That's what it did to us. Yeah. <laughs> Made us all go a bit balmy, didn't it, really? <laughs> Paul thinks Kieran did a good job on my makeup. <laughs> Right, so we're just going to come round the sides. Right, well, sorry, down the bottom. Bit of speedy sewing. Speedy, speedy. It would be even quicker if I'd have had a whiskey on my way in. <laughs> but I don't drink whiskey in the morning. Not in the morning. No. Actually, I haven't had, you know, I haven't had a whiskey for ages. That is the honest truth. I think because I've been yeah, a bit we've... concerned about Gary and everything, all yeah. that seems to go out the window, yeah. doesn't it? So yeah. it's been Ribena. Oh, I shouldn't say that because it's a trade name. So <laughs> or Robinson's or Blackcurrant. Yeah, Blackcurrant. Exactly. <laughs> Notice the pink cushion, Vicky. It's lovely. I recognise that from one of my early birds. Yeah, it was. I thought I'll have that. Who's that, sorry? Hi, Brenda. Brenda said, loving Rachel this morning. Thank you very much, Brenda. And said, very good morning to you all. It's your first time watching. Oh, good morning. Oh. Welcome to the family. Hopefully this will be your first of many. We're on every morning. Eight till 12. Oh, actually, eight till one, I should say, because the last day is always a repeat. So you'll be able to watch this show again um, today. Normally it's the day before that's repeated, but today it's, it's the eight o'clock. Right, so this is your first bag. Now, what I would do, it doesn't tell you to do this in the book, but I personally would just snip it on the corners. Good idea. It gives you a nice little... Because when, yeah, so when corner. you turn it out, Good tip. you can get a nice little corner and I would just put my finger right in the corner and then turn it through like that. We are probably aren't going to have time to put the handles in. No. If you could talk through yeah, what it is I'll that you do, we've got show about three you minutes. You, right, okay. So with the bag handles, okay, oh, that so that's gorgeous. See? So there you go. So obviously we've got the bag handles that would go in here. Yeah. And then attached to the bag handles, you would have like little tabs that go round the handles. Okay. And then you turn this round. In the book it says to trim it, but I wouldn't because otherwise you haven't got enough to actually sew um a little board around so right. but the little tabs you cut this long piece when you've turned it out put them around the bag handles three round each bag handle mm -hmm. and then you just put one at the top there uh, each top and then one in the middle 
and then your bag handle will be attached yeah. and then carefully you i would suggest if you haven't got a very long arm machine obviously my 720 is a long arm yeah. machine so it can fit that in yeah but you can't bend these yeah all oh, right that's a good point so actually. you would so get it caught in there can you see yeah so what i would do is when you've put it in there just simply hand sew it in good idea good idea all right, and that's your bag. Amazing. Thank you ever so much. Can we Thank have a look at the you. pictures as well, Paul, so you can see the uh, the shopper bag as well, because that's a great yeah. big bag, isn't it? There you go. So you can see the ones in the different colourway as yep. well that Rachel made up, and those tabs, as we were yep. describing, all from the same book. Now, what I would say with the shopper bag, really easy. It's just two, two pieces, mm -hmm. obviously, one uh, outer, one inner. It does say to feed everything through a handle. Now, I couldn't do that. It was too much to put through the handle because they were too thin. Right. And we you might find the same. Yeah. So what I did was I just turned it out mm -hmm. and then I just left the top so you had like a outer and an inner and then just sew them together and then sew down the edges. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. So that's Thank the easiest so way much. to do that. It's all explained in the instructions. We will see you in an hour. Thank you ever so much, Rachel. Thank you. We've got some dressmaking. Oh, start checking out, by the way, on the So Different pattern because it's already going. It's going to be very, very busy. If you don't know how to shop, this is how you get involved. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, what a lovely way to start Sunday morning. Really lovely. And with a gorgeous book. Um, is this brand new today, Kat? Yeah, brand new today. I was going to say, I've never seen this before. And it's so affordable. For £10, you're getting 20 different bag patterns. And I think they look really fancy. Some lovely techniques and some really sort of great versatile. So even though I say 20 bags, loads of these are reversible by the looks of things. Your reversible shopper, your reversible tote felted bag that looks gorgeous i love working with wool as well i always think wool bags look beautiful travel bags patchwork holder beautiful pretty tote backpacks festival bag your duffel bag that's really lovely i do i do love it in um especially in the stripy fabric it looks very beachy doesn't it your knot bags. Oh, I've not seen those. They look different, don't they? Look how they sort of fold all round and, and come round in a knot. Just £9.99. There's your messenger bag. Very, very popular indeed. Your clutch bag with a lovely big bow. In fact, I'm sure, Paul, you used to have your messenger bag like this, didn't you? Very similar to that. It looks lovely in the wool. It looks really, really nice. Uh, just £9.99. Still chance to check out on that. There's loads of you that have got it, but don't miss it, especially at that price. Brilliant value for money. All of your instructions and templates are in the back. Now, it's also all about the fabrics. Now, the two fabric bundles that we had with Rachel were your Tildas. So this is the one that Rachel was working with. You get a metre of each meter of your tilde, meter of your li lavender lilac -y tilde, and then you also get your prim bamboo bag handles, which are gorgeous, perfect for this bag. 34 pounds and 99 pence. We also have the pink colorway, which is the one that Rachel made up at home. 
and just having the reversible as well. The great thing about having this designer fabric is you're thinking, oh, I want to make sure that you can see both of these fabrics. So the reversible option means that this is your main fabric and then this is the bottom. And then you can have this is the bottom and then this is the top. So you're always going to be able to see those beautiful fabrics. And depending on what you're wearing, what outfit, where you're going, you can almost change it up by day by night, can't you? And you've got your bamboo handle included as well. All you need to add is your interfacing. You're getting two meters of tilde there, 34 pounds and 99 pence. Now we've got another bundle with tilde. Now this time it's giving you sort of a bit of scope to be able to do what you want with it. Um, I'm thinking different bags, uh, different smaller projects. You've got a meter of your tilde, which is like this very tilde-esque paisley print. It's beautiful with the floral. And then you're also getting a meter of, is it, is it ivory or cream? It's really lovely, ivory, a meter of ivory. I was going to say it's just slightly off-white, but it goes perfectly with your tilde. A meter of each. Now, whether it be the shopper bag that you're wanting to make, like we just saw with, with Rachel, or whether you're thinking of another project in mind, great chance to stock up on tilde along with a complimentary bundle and two meters i must say sorry a meter of tilde and a meter of your fabric two meters is a lot of fabric this is a whole meter i'm opening it out just so you can see how much fabric it is <laughs> look loads loads and loads and loads of fabric already pre-cut for you to um to a meter so if you are checking out of your basket on multiple units, it will come into meter pre-cuts. 18.49. And then the last bundle that we have has been very popular. This fabric, every single time we've had it in a project, it's sold out. So we had it with the coat. We've had it with Janice's jumpsuit. Was that yesterday? Yesterday. Gosh, yesterday feels like a long time ago, doesn't it? I was here on um, our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, yesterday. So I saw Janice and I said, Janice, promise I'm not avoiding you. Every time, it was the one day that I was poorly and Hannah covered for me and Janice was on. And then yesterday when Neil was on, so they've asked me to swap over to do today. Um, so I've missed both shows of Janice. You're getting a metre of both of these gorgeous fabrics. This is lovely. It's almost like a really light denim, a really lightweight dem denim. It's beautiful. And then you've also got, it's very soft. It is. I know Rachel was commenting how silky soft it is. Be lovely. Like our pool, soft and lovely to work with, he's saying. And then you're also going to get a metre of your um, fuchsia pink. Oh, go on then. Going off track. Mentioned yesterday the dump suit that we did with Janice. They said that you could do two um, different fabrics, one for the top and one for the bottom. This would be a nice bundle actually to do that with. If you got the pattern yesterday. Well, have a look on the website. Are there any patterns left? I think there are patterns left actually. Paul, could you do me a huge favour and pass it to me? It's literally on the um, on the rack here. Just wanted to show you for anyone who missed yesterday's show. Um, it was brilliant, and there are patterns still available. Thank you. Oh, no, it's sold out. Pattern completely sold out, so if you did get... That is adorable, isn't it? Oh, I love it. They're going to make Paul and Neil <laughs> matching ones. Who? Oh, no, somebody who's watching offered to make Paul and Neil matching ones. Oh, no. But that's lovely. He says that was just slightly small. Kat was telling us though today that she wears children's clothes. She's like, I fit in age 13 year old clothes. She was wearing a lovely dress the other day and I said, where's that from? And she says, oh, it's in the, um, it's, <laughs> it's from the children's section of a big department store, age 13 to 14. And then I was on Instagram and I saw Rochelle Humes, who you know presents a lot on, um, on television. She, um, her daughter, who's about She's about, she's about seven years old and she's wearing the same dress as cats like cats. Yeah, I get it now. It's a child's dress. <laughs> right. Anyway, £22.99. Is there anything else that I need to mention? Bamboo on its own. The bamboo hoops on its own. They're 22 centimetre hoops. Good, um, actually, that was a good point that Rachel just um, brought up at the end there. Obviously, you've got to be aware that if your throat space on your machine is smaller than this, then you might need to hand stitch them in because they're, they, they're not bendy. They're solid bamboo. I do like bamboo. The old bamboo, the old bamboo. That's what it reminds me of. I was thinking, what song was it? The old bamboo. I wondered what that was. I love Mary, 
It's Mary Poppins. You've never watched Mary Poppins? Have you watched the new one? No, watch the old one. You've never watched it, so you obviously get two of your handles. And then we've also got your iron-on interfacing. You'd love it, Kat. She loves the musicals. Yeah. Cuffs, collars, facings, bag making, just going to um, bring you a bit more stability to your fabric. Just £3.99. A meter piece is plenty enough. Oh, Jane. Jane messaged in saying, what was the house that you were talking about with Liberty the other day that's in Birmingham? Um, it's Winterbourne House, Jane. I would love to go. Haven't been. Um, it's winter, born with an O and a U. Um, so please do let me know how you get on there and see how it is. Because I think they're open now. But I think you, I don't know whether the, the main house is open. The gardens definitely are and they're beautiful. So if you do take a trip there or if, if you do, please let me know how it is because I'll definitely be going there soon. Anyway, are we ready? Get your Christmas spirit on because we're going to be doing as much as we possibly can. Hopefully it's going to last half an hour, but there's so much that's already selling. I've got a feeling it could be quite quick. We've got so many beautiful projects, for, especially for Christmas, coming up in the next hour. So we'll see you right after this. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my sewing street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live program and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. 
Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. It's Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Um, this hat, by the way, do you know what you talk about cat who buys children's clothes? This is definitely either for a pet or a child. It's so small, it's cutting circulation in my head. Maybe I have just got a big head. Um, but no, Merry Christmas, everybody. I have been desperate to do one of these Christmas shows and you've given me a whole 20 minutes. Thank you. Right, so we're starting with um, something that's back in stock, the panel. This panel is now back in stock. Now, we can't find the book. Somebody has definitely taken it. <laughs> Hayley, I don't know whether you're um, still watching, but where's the book gone? It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is obviously going to make, in fact, how shall I show you this? Let's hold it up and then I will show you each page, it, each page. Now, loads of people have already checked out on this. It's 14 99 That's the reason why loads of people have checked out. It's brilliant, isn't it? It is absolutely brilliant. So, all of your instructions, let me spin this around. All of the instructions are at the bottom of the panel. This is how it will come, um, just a pre-printed panel like this. And then you can see the front cover, the 12 days of Christmas. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 drum and strumming. There you go. 11 pipers piping, it has the whole thing. And so that must be the back of the book then. So that's the front and the back. And then let's go across second day of Christmas. I used to be, do you remember Paul? Did you ever receive any of my Christmas medley songs? You do. I used to always do a full medley on Christmas. Um, I'll do it again this year for you, Kat. Second day of Christmas, the turtle doves. Do you know what I love about this as well? Like every time I've seen these books, They've been more sort of novelty or based um, for children. Whereas this is very grown up, isn't it? This is lovely. There's the fourth. I will go back to the third in a second, but it's just underneath. Look at the da dancing ladies da dancing. This would be lovely to be able to, you know, bring out time and time again. And maybe even embellishing. You could always do hand stitching over the top, couldn't you? You got your sixth day, seventh day. Swans are swimming. Half of the stock already sold out before we even shown it. So be careful if you, like me, have missed all of the Christmas shows, then now's the chance to get it. It's the first time I've seen this and I love it. There's the 10 um, Lords of Leaping. That's always the one I forget. Three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge. 10 Lords of Leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking. I just love all of the detail. Look with the cow, the milking. And you've also got the uh, five gold rings. I love the background. And then also, of course, even around the edge of the panel, you've got extra fabric there to play around with, haven't you? Extra fabric as well. It's selling out, by the way. This will sell out in the next few minutes. Just be aware, especially at that price. It's an amazing price. It's lovely quality. It is really lovely quality to have that handmade Christmas book. I can't believe it's £15. Oh, what I would use with it is like your craft wadding, potentially, 
or you could use any of your scraps of wadding that you've got. H640 maybe, or the crib size, pull it down with it. Um, this would be fine, this would be fine, this is the crib size. This is 45 inches by 60 and it will just give it a bit more of your loft. If you did get any of the metallic threads yesterday, what about embellishing with those? We had brand new metallic threads yesterday, they completely sold out. They completely sold out. Neil, I told you he was spoiling you rotten yesterday. Why didn't everybody manage to get something? Just £8.99 for your, um, your poly wadding, polyester wadding. We still have panels left available. Right. They've all got to sell out today. They've got to. I mean, this is something that has been so popular, been waiting for so many people. Um, we've been uh, being asked by so many people to get them it back in. We've only got 20 left now, but I don't want to put anybody off by saying, oh, it's going to sell out, it's going to sell out, and you think, oh, there's no point in me trying. Absolutely, still make the most of this. Just remember, it's £3.95 all day long. And it's the perfect time now, let's face it, we're going into September. In the crafting world, we have to think about Christmas a bit earlier. And this might be something that, you know, you, you want to get out with your Christmas decorations and have it propped up or, um, or to gift for somebody. Um, this would be lovely, yeah, reading to the grandchildren. If you want to turn it into a song, oh, that's what I'd be doing. I will, um, yeah, send you along with a link to my, uh, to my SoundCloud or my, um, my iTunes, me singing the jingle. $14.99, sing along with Vix. I think I should do that. No? Is that a tumbleweed going through the studio? Like, oh, really? So, on uh, our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, I've been doing some duets with Michael Wolf. He, they've been letting me do um, duets, yeah. They're desperate for me to bring out a Christmas album. Um, so, now, less than 15. Warning on that. If you want it, check out as soon as you can. It is your 12th day of Christmas. Beautiful panel. I love those colours. The greens and the reds are amazing. Just 14 99 Right. Don't forget to add your wadding in as well. I'm going to put this to one side, but just remember that that is available. It's back in stock, but now less than 15 chances to get it. Less than 10. Less than 10. In fact, less than five. They're going, they're going, they're going. Oh, well done if you managed to get it. That was your second chance to get it. Right, where are we going now? The complementing fabric bundle. These go perfectly. In fact, what I will do... Sorry. Is put this neck next to it. So, no, it's up to you. No, that was like a sulky child then, wasn't it? It's Christmas. Kieran said I did that yesterday. We went out for a meal and it was getting late and I had to be in bed by half past eight. And he was like, oh, I might have a pudding. And he said that my face went, oh, no, I want to go home. And it's not like me to turn down a pudding. So he was like, I've got his puddings to take home. And I was like, oh. I didn't realise I'd pull that face, but my mum used to show me loads of photos from when I was little where my lip just used to go, like this, and I did it yesterday, and I've just done it again now to Paul. Very sulky today. It's Christmas. So, the, obviously your um, your panel is separately. Well done if you managed to get the panel. There's literally a couple of those left, but I just wanted to show you the complementary colours. If you love the colours that are in these, these are all beautiful. This is my favourite one, the misty blue. Panel has sold out. Well done if you managed to get it. All of your different shades of greens. That misty blue is lovely. And Paul's favourite colour is the burgundy, which is crimson. It's called crimson on the website. The crimson. So in here, you're getting... Do you know when... My favourite thing about Christmas is, you know, on... I'm not going to name and shame the channel, but on normal terrestrial TV, um, they always bring out, like, two o'clock afternoon films of awful Christmas films. Yeah. <laughs> You know the films are on about. I love that about Christmas. There was this one about losing their Christmas shoes. But, oh, it was... The which one? Krampus. No. Oh, it's a horror film. Is it Christmas one? No, I've not seen that. No, I've not seen that. Half a metre of crimson. Half a metre of red. Half a metre of tan. And half a metre of nude. 
We'll get the actual colours just in case you want to go onto the website, type in 100% cotton and find the exact colours. So then you can, um, you can, you can of course um, mix and match then. Hi, Marion. Don't worry now. I don't always dress like this. It's not always Christmas here. It's in fact my first Christmas show of the year, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, I do. I, I just love, I do love Christmas. I love Christmas. No, thank you, Marion. It's the first, uh, first time joining us today. So, claret, crimson, tan, beige, misty blue, khaki. Chartreuse and fern. Fur, not fern. Fur, F U R. Fur, F I R, like a fir tree. Um, and it, with the bundle, you're getting half a meter free. I know that lots of the, the fabric bundles yesterday were very, very popular. The rainbow one was back in stock. Is there any of those left? Of course not. Of course not. I was even talking about that on Friday, wasn't I? About the, I was proing it, saying I'm so excited about the rainbow bundle. I haven't even had a looking at it. Sold out yesterday. Pastel one might be available, but if you do like these complementary colour bundles, the hard work's sort of done for you, and they're beautiful quality cottons. And let me just open out the misty blue so you can see the size of it. If you buy more than one mega bundle, they'll come pre-cut like that, so they'll come pre-cut into half meters. But if you do want to have a look at other colours on the website, or if you're thinking, oh. I love that colour, that will go with something else. Then type in 100% cotton on the website or Misty Blue. Um, the only ones that aren't available on their own are fur, tan and beige. We've maxed out on the bundle, everything that we've got is in the bundle. So if you do want those, absolutely make the most of it. £23.43, and pence. that's saving £3.49. So you're basically getting your half a metre for free. Should we do some brand new panels? Um, right. Uh, where are they? These ones. So, my code is WTUU29. Oh, these are brilliant. These are exclusive to us. The flower of the month, Christmas special wreath panel. And you're getting your strip plus your wreath. I really like this because you could do yourself a wall hanging wreath instead of having a real wreath. Because sometimes, especially with the weather, it's really difficult to know how long they're gonna last. And they, they don't tend to, I find that some of them don't last too long if you put them out too early. I've never seen this, it's brand new, never been to air before. Um, you've got your wreath, which is lovely and detailed. You've got your background fabric as well. So you could do a beautiful wreath wall hanging. Um, quilted by, you can personalize it, whether it be with any of the pens which we've got today, or whether you want to do um, monogramming, or if you've got an embroidery machine or hand stitch embroidery. Your Christmas wreath tag as well. And then you've also got your two and a half inch strips. Good morning, Christine. Oh, thank you. I thought I'm looking good too. Yeah, Rachel's like, yeah. Yeah, I am, Christine. Good morning. Thank you for your message. That's what I do. Just something I threw on this morning. Thanks for your interactivity. It's lovely being on Facebook now. Now I'm streaming live on Facebook. I saw somebody put, oh, how 2020 of you streaming on Facebook. We are down with the kids, aren't we? So if you do want to just pop in and say hello, we've got Kat and Paul who are both watching on Facebook as well. So they can um, pass on any messages to me. Uh, what was that, sorry? Uh, just Paul yesterday. Were you concentrating on the Facebook page yesterday then, Paul? Um, they're lovely colours though, aren't they? I heard the dream team were in, Paul and Neil. Paul, Neil and Janice. Oh, Janice was in the dream team. It was just Kat that wasn't in the dream team yesterday. Brand new today, you're five complimentary two and a half. Um, they're two and a half by 43 inches. So they're really nice and wide as well. In fact, what's 43 inches in centimetres? Oh gosh, she's asking Siri. I don't, I don't think Siri's very, he knows. 109, 109.22 in fact. Gosh, I never use that. Do you ask Siri at home? Ask, ask them at home and see. It's really good. 
£9.99. Oh, whenever I ask him something, he always says, I can't answer your question right now. He never knows. Have you asked him who let the dogs out? <laughs> he goes, who, 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 I think. <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances, they can't answer that question. Oh, oh I wonder why. Maybe too many people are, are asking who let the dogs out at the moment. Um, £9.99 for a brand new August flower of the month. What's the flower of the month then this month? Is it Holly? Wonder if it's Holly. But flower of the month, Christmas special, I suppose. Beautiful. Right. So we've got the um, the August flower of the month, which is Poppy, coming up later on in the show. Good. Paul's just said, "I'm enjoying this show." Right. Let's do the mistletoe. Under the mistletoe. This is lovely. So once again, you're getting your gold strips. That would be really nice to put in a picture frame. You could have it on the front of a bag, couldn't you? You could have it on a cushions. You could have it on a t-shirt with an arrow up, couldn't you? <laughs> 9 dollars sorry, with your quilted labels as well. And your two and a half inch complimentary strips. And I love the detail, so can you see that this one, it just looks like, um, well, it's very difficult to see on screen, but actually you've got a real clear strip with lovely spots. Then you've also got like the linear effect. You've got the darker background, the grey background with like um, a lovely, it's almost slightly purpley. Do you know what I mean? Mauve hue to it, very slightly. And you've also got your dashes. And then you've also got another spot, £9.99. And then the detail on your lovely mistletoe with the, um, with the, with the tie around, £9.99. I've got to start thinking about getting all our Christmas projects made and done. Just a warning, there's four of the Christmas vintage bundles left. Oh, in fact, this would be a nice bundle to go with any of the panels as well, actually, wouldn't it? That would be really, really nice to go with any of the panels. Um, the, remember, the only way of getting quite a few of these fabrics is actually in the bundle. We're struggling to get them. So you're getting your chartreuse, you're getting um, fur. That's the only way of getting fur. Misty blue, claret, crimson. What's this one called? Khaki. And then you're also getting beige and, new, um, and tan. Beige and tan. All of these half meters, it's 24, 43. There's only four of those. That's a lovely bundle together, isn't it? In fact, only three left of those now. Could we just very quickly show the wreath panel again? Very, very popular indeed. Literally just launched it today. Thank you for, um, for letting me do some Christmas products. I love Christmas. I don't know, um, I'm really hoping that, of course, it's been obviously um, strange, start to the year we're already nearly in september but i'm hoping we're all you know a bit more a bit more normality leading up towards christmas all fingers crossed this is the um the wreath so you're getting your strips plus your wreath panel exclusive to us here at sewing street i like that you put your little label as well you can always print that out. you can always cut that out and, and put it onto something of course, they're both saying in unison now, it's unbelievable at $9.99. Um, you're getting all of your strips plus your labels and your wreath. £9.99. What do you mean? If you wanted a metallic thread to embroider on the top of this, Yesterday we launched metallic threads. I was told about 10 minutes time, 10 minutes ago that they completely sold out. Have you found some? You found some? Right, now Kat often does this. Things that get booked in at around nine o'clock. I mean, it's Sunday. Who's booking them in right now? Hayley. Somebody must have booked this in on this Sunday morning. Um, you're gonna go and find them. There you go, got them. 
$14.99. These are your Gutam and metallic threads, which will be beautiful for embellishing, whether it be your panel, whether it be any of your Christmas projects. But we do have 50 meters, 10 spools for $14.99. If you thought you missed out yesterday, we were saying that they were sold out because we thought they had. Um, they are available at $14.99 on the website. In fact, I don't know whether Paul were able to show the website of how to, oh, I suppose if you've got the graphics, then they'll just appear underneath us then, won't they? Yeah, brilliant. Kat's saying she's, she's gone down the corridor looking for them now, but um, there they are anyway, 14 pounds and 99 pence if you want to make the most of them. She's found them. She went running round, well done. Oh, these are lovely. God, I think this, these actually are really, really amazing. Are they variegated at the bottom? They're beautiful. Gosh, they are gorgeous. So you've got your um, gold, you've got your silver, you've got your blue, you've got your turquoise. Do you want me to take them out? They are so gorgeous and shiny, aren't they? Brand new yesterday for $14.99. Right, how many of these have we got then? They are so glittery. I wonder whether you can use these as normal. I would just probably wouldn't use them in my bobbin, but you could use them in your machine, obviously. They've sold out. How many did we have? Oh, well done. Okay. She's out of breath now, running around. So, that's, is that everything Christmassy? Is that Christmas over? Da da da. No, it's Christmas over. I've, can I take my um, hat off? Because it's really, it's really quite tight. One second. Quick costume change. That's all good. I'll take the tinsel down in a second. Christmas is over. Right. Let's just check the panels that we started with at the start of the show. Thank you um, to our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, for lending us. They're doing Christmas tomorrow, by the way. They're doing Christmas um, on their show tomorrow. Christmas makes. Right, so this is what you can make with the Magic Unicorn panel. Isn't it incredible? So this is the panel. Uh, there's the panel uh, by itself. That's what it looks like opened up. So I'm not going to open this because we're so limited. We're literally down to the last couple of these, but don't let that put you off. Have a go. It's your sateen. Beautiful cotton. It's so soft. Wrapped up so beautifully with a big bow and includes one quilt top or back two pillow fronts, one throw cushion front, and two additional panels, all in silky soft cotton sateen. 74 pounds and 99 pence for 99, uh, it's a 99 by 108 inch panel. And as I say, you can make such beautiful things with it. Um, it went onto Facebook yesterday and started selling straight away. We uh, bought it to air, this is the first time it's been on air and we're literally down to the last two. If you want one of them, please do check out. I'm not allowed to open this one because this is one of the remaining two. <laughs> um, can we show the picture again though, Paul, of what it makes? Because it looks spectacular, doesn't it? And it's so, so silky soft. It's so, so silky soft. It really, really is. It's your cotton sateen. Remember, you can make the quilt front, the wall hanging, all of those cushions as well. All of those cushions are going to be on there. And it's up to you whether you want to use them as a... Uh, uh, bag front or a wall hanging. It's got a really lustrous sheen, it's beautiful. It's because of the high thread count that, um, that the cotton sateen has that gives it such a beautiful, soft, silky finish. If you've seen sateen with bed sheets and uh, you're aware of it, it's so beautiful. Just 74 pounds and 99 pence. I'm going to go as far as saying I think this will be the last chance to get it. I think this is going to be the last time I'm showing it. It's less than £75 and they look amazing, don't they? I'm excited to see these on the fan page. What about with your metallic threads? The moon and the flowers and the uh, unicorn. You don't have to do a cushion. You can make that as a bag front or, a, um, you know, on the, another wall hanging. Do you want the panel? It's up to you, isn't it? £74.99. Great value for money for how much is in there, really, isn't it? When you think of how much you can pay for that quilt. And those of you that do want to make a big quilt, maybe as a gift or for yourself, but, of course, I know we spend a lot of time doing all of our patchwork. This is going to be 
coming together very, very quickly indeed. So absolutely make the most of it. So it's us to see the mistletoe and the wreath next to each other. Absolutely, yeah. Do you want me to put my Christmas outfit back on? I'll put my Christmas outfit back on. There's. Loves the panel. Got loads of fabric at the moment. She says, would we be bringing it back? Um, hopefully, they're exclusive to us, so hopefully we will. Uh, I, a bit nearer to Christmas or when we do another Christmas show. So, if you want to see these next to each other, I don't know what's best for you, Paul, because I don't know how easy you're going to be able to show them. So, you've got... Mistletoe. They go together, actually, really nicely, don't they? It's all right. Sorry, that's as wide as we can go, so hopefully you can see them. So the graphic at the moment is for the bottom one, which is your mistletoe with your grey complementary strips. And then we've got the wreath, exclusive to us, which is £9.99 again for your festive wreath with your strips. The wreath is very, 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 very popular indeed. Exclusive to us, remember. By two, remember, they're already cut into panels like you're seeing here today. Right. Do let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Message us on Facebook. Just come and say hello. Sunday morning, how are you? Those of you that only watch on a Sunday morning, if I've not met you before, because it's my first Sunday show, I'm Vicky. It's lovely to meet you. There's so many people who are, um, are new joining us, actually, every single weekend. Every single week we get new v viewers, so it's lovely to um, have your company. Let's go for, oh, right, so yesterday I was um, on our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, and during our break, I was doing some colouring. I saw that these were already all set up, ready for today's show, and I said, right, I'm going to start colouring some of these in. And our, my um, very good friend, and there's someone you will know as well if you, if you do watch a lot, Liam, who is a producer over at Jewelry Maker, but he is part of our, our, our um, family as well, he comes and produces over here. He was like, ah, oh, I wanna do some colouring. It's so my fault, and we were sat so quiet, and everybody who was in the office loved it. They were like, right, that is that is what you've gotta do now every break time, is to sit and do all your colouring. This one is PXUU, which is, oh, there he is, our Liam. Look at the happy face he's got. He was literally loving it, wasn't he, yesterday? So, um, by the way, that I coloured in that um, rainbow tree. Can I show you his? You can see his and you can see mine. See whose is the, uh, whose is, who's is better? <laughs> oh, he, he did do great ombre on the dragon, though. I didn't spot that. He was hogging the yellow, which I love. I love that colour. So, this is your fairy tale colour me in panel. We will have a look at the pens later. Brand new today, so it will come completely bare. We just got a bit carried away yesterday. That ombre dragon looks amazing, Liam. I know we wanted to be to give him a big shout out today. The block colours, they look great. Uh, yeah, Liam did the castle and he did this tree and he was doing all the flowers and the, uh, the stars. And then this was mine, this was mine, Liam. Do you like the unicorn? I did the tree, the unicorn. I didn't do an owl, an owl, I didn't do it. I, 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 would, I would have, but I had to get on with my work as well yesterday. <laughs> But look at the smiley tree. Hang on, don't get too close. Don't get too close. Thank you. Stayed in all the lines they're saying. Um, I've got my magical frog as well. You've got a wizard's hat, you've got your magic book. First time we've seen this. Do you know my favourite, which I really wanted to do as well? This, your chariot, your um, pumpkin. The apple, this would be beautiful as like a, as a play mat or a, um, a, a storybook t-shirt, a, 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 a colour, what was I going to say, storybook cushion, a t-shirt, a teddy bear. There's so much that you're going to be able to do. What about even if you were to take the unicorn and put it onto, applique it onto clothes or jackets? Because you could spend so much time colouring this in. And actually, it takes a lot more time than you sort of initially think. There are so many elements on here that you can get really, really into it. I love the mushroom and look, the potion. 
it's brilliant, isn't it? Even if you just applique it onto front of like notebooks or, or storage boxes. They're brand new today, exclusive to us. This is the fairy tale, colour me in. And the panels are huge. What I like is that it's it's unisex. Now, whether you're, you know, you're looking after children that are, are on their school holidays now and wanting to keep them to entertain on a rainy day, this is fantastic. Because also, once they've coloured it in, um, with the pens that we've got today, you just give it an iron and then it makes it completely colour fast. So they could make a pencil case for when they go back to school or, or notebooks or different bits and bobs, a bag even, a rucksack to take to school. £5.99 is brilliant value for money, isn't it? So they'll all look like that, basically. Always super duper popular. Now, I'm also thinking, if you've got any of the metallic threads, if you've got any of the Guterman threads or embroidery skeins, what about filling these in with embroidery skeins? You could almost stitch them in with beautiful embroidery. So you could do like your French knots, you could do some satin stitches, you could do beautiful hand embroidery on this and just cut out what elements you want. Because there's great space between them as well, so you're not gonna you know, lose any of the, um, the look of it if you are a detail, if you are going to, to cut them out. But it's so much fun. I actually find it really mindful. I know that colouring in, adult colouring in books have been really, really popular, haven't they, recently? I think everybody's wanting to do something that's just focusing on the project in hand. This is lovely. So it's only 5 99 especially then, to be able to make it into something larger. What about things like play mats or place mats and you could odour coat them and wipe them? They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So that one's your fairy tale, very, very popular already. We've also got another one, which I haven't started to colour in yet. I don't know whether I'm allowed to. Oh yes, why not? I love a bit of colouring in. They're lovely though, aren't they? I did like my magic rainbow tree. I did like my rainbow tree. So, this is your space. This is your space panel. How cool is this? I know so many people who love astrology, astronomy or astrology? Astronomy. Astronomy, astrology, star signs count. I always get it mixed up too. You've got your rockets, your telescopes. What's this called? An... Is it a nebula? Oh, messaging on Facebook, messaging. It's like a black hole. <gasps> That's so cool. Your astronaut, maybe it's just a galaxy. Maybe it's a galaxy. You've got your spaceman. This is only half of it, by the way. It's 140 centimetres wide. Let me open this out even more. The sun looks interesting to colour in as well. This one, doesn't it? And I want to colour in the astronaut. I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to colour him in. You can request colours, but last time we did that, I had to do a gold and silver bear, <laughs> which looks a bit silly, I think. <laughs> Paul, it was, it was Paul's. Paul still likes it. <laughs> Look, it's huge for five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. See, I was looking to get um, something similar to this a couple of years ago. It was for my goddaughter's Christmas present, and it was uh, an apron that you could colour in. And they're really expensive. I don't know; they're about twenty pounds. They did come with a couple of colours, but like four felt pit, uh, felt tips. They, they do colouring in t shirts somewhere where cat. Where was it? Sorry. In a garden centre. Yeah, it's just, they're not cheap, really expensive in fact actually. 5 99 there's loads that you're going to be able to do with these. What about to applique them onto little white t-shirts or denim jackets? It'd be so cool. 5 99 Okay. £5.99. Should we have a look at some of the colours? Because these are the new ones, right? What I would suggest you do because they are big panels, if you are going to do them like folded up like this, put something in between that you're not worried about getting a bit dirty. So whether it be an old cutting mat or whether it be a piece of card or even just a bit of paper, whatever you want to do, um, just put something under it because it can bleed through slightly depending on what pens you're using. Now the pens that we're looking at today are these ones which are brilliant and I found very, very useful because you've got a thick nib on the one end, 
which is great to get, you know, a majority of the, the colouring in done. But then when you want to do the fine detail on the other side of the nib, you've got a really fine, fine nib. So that's very handy to do all your outlines. It's like when you're doing your painting at home and you have to cut in. <laughs> They're lovely bright colours. You've got a great array of colours. And actually, what I liked about it was we were working from this pot of pens yesterday and Liam was going for all of like the dragons and the reds and, and doing the castle with the browns and the greys and these sort of colours where I was wanting to do, you know, all the rainbows and fairies and all the beautiful, pretty colours. But then the yellow is gorgeous. It's really nice and bright. You've got some great colours. Now, also, I was going to say, you can wash these up to 40 degrees. They'll completely colour fast. If you leave them for, I think it suggests about six hours, yeah. Allow drying for six hours after decoration, then iron inside out for five minutes on the decorated area using a cotton setting on your iron, and it will make it colour fast. Now, it's £12.99, which is brilliant value because me and Liam were talking about this, actually, and we said... I think it's probably going to be. I'm sure that they were about £24. I thought they were. I think other pens that we might have are more over the £20 mark. So this, I think, is the most affordable way of getting these pens. It's a great way to get them. They're light fast, as I say, water-based assorted colours, £12.99. I should do a bit of colour in. I'm going to use these because they're already um, closed. But can I do the astronaut? I'm going to go on then. You wanted to tell me what colours to do earlier. Give him a blue visor. Paul's like, give him a blue visor, but but don't worry, don't worry. Because now I'm I'm um, not afraid to say what I actually think of his colours. Great for all ages, isn't it? I must say, we really, really enjoyed doing this yesterday afternoon. I'm going to give him a blue visor. So this is the finer nib. Oh, the visor. What's that? What's the visor? Oh, the bit that's going over his eyes. This is his helmet. I'm sorry. So, let me just show you. If I go for the thicker nib on this one, then that's going to um, be good to just get your base colour down a lot quicker. But then you have got the finer nib if you do want to spend a bit more time going around the edge. There's your blue. Am I going to have to do his whole space outfit in blue now? No, they're saying in my ear. What colour shall I do his visor then? I've kind of ruined it now, haven't I? Shall I do that yellow as well to just complement these colours? He wanted it pink. It's like the sun's hitting it, isn't it? But they're great, aren't they? What I love about them is I do find it's just quite therapeutic. I'm, I'm actually finding it difficult to talk whilst I'm doing this. But I know I'm aware that I have got to talk because this is kind of my job. I'm just, just leave me here for a bit, please. I'm happy doing my colouring in. Should we have a look at the pink? Come on then. Is he um, an artist? Let's do this as a bit of a rainbow. Do you know what I actually, um, I, I was thinking I want to do something a bit arty. I find myself not very arty, colouring in. I know our Hannah is producer here. She's got a fine art degree. So I always get nervous if ever she's here colouring in front of her because she's very, very good. Yeah, she's, um, she doesn't, she does criticise some of my um, crafty decisions sometimes. But I love this panel. This is great fun, isn't it? Let's go for a green. Yeah, I like that you've got the earth there as well. You've got the stars. You could go around and almost name all your, your panels, couldn't you? Name all your planets and stars and everything. Can you name all of the different um, planets? I know a lot of people, I was talking to... Um, <laughs> they're telling me a different way of learning my, my, um, my planets. Hayley Marshall say, I know that Joseph would love this one. Her little boy, he's, is he about nine now? How old's jo Joseph now? He's probably about nine and this is ideal, isn't it? If you were, um, my goddaughter, she's just turning five and I know that she'd love the fairy tale one. Absolutely love them. 
They're just great fun, I must say. I am quite content here. How long we got, Paul? How long have I got to just keep colouring in? <laughs> no, don't put pressure on me. We have got other things to get through, so I might have to... Rachel, you don't mind if during your demo if I'm just sitting doing some colouring? <laughs> she doesn't mind. I love it. And this yellow is so beautiful and bright. I'm thinking for the stars that this is gorgeous. So the pens, just so you know, if you do want your lovely bright pack of pens, you get a full array here for £12.99. Great value for money, isn't it? Sorry, I'm just being indecisive now of what colour I want to use. Maybe a light green for his trousers. What do you mean? You don't think I'm going to be designing NASA space suits? I quite like this. My rainbow space suits. Hello, Martin. No, Martin with a Y. Great way to start a Sunday morning, watching me colouring in. <laughs> oh, thank you, Martin. Thank you. Loving the show. Are you enjoying my colouring in? Right, I might stop there because it does... Um, because I've got some other things I do need to show you and I'm going to just fall asleep if I um, just get too relaxed with it. <laughs> It is very therapeutic though, isn't it? But it's great. So that's your um, your space one. Don't forget our other brand new one, which is the fairy tale. We still have the other two that are available, the under the sea and the woods. So I'm going to go for the U uh, V T U U 93 first cat, which is your under the sea one or under the ocean, I should say. They are huge panels. If I open that out, you can just see the scale of it, how much fabric you're getting for $5.99. It's fantastic value. Completely exclusive to us, not going to find it anywhere else. And such a great price. There's so much detail that's gone into it. I just love the turtle, Terry the turtle. Oh, I can't remember all the names. Dolphine the dolphin. Ollie the octopus, William the whale. We named them all, didn't we? Look at these, they're amazing. I just think they're so nice to be able to then incorporate into different projects. The amount of times I've seen on the fan page, it was when we did the rainbow ones, start of lockdown, it was so lovely to see so many people putting them onto bags or putting them onto to wall hangings in windows or having them um, onto denim jackets. I mean, how nice would this be on the back of a denim jacket, just having all of your different uh, sea creatures, you're under the ocean, sea animals, they're just amazing. And beautiful, beautiful detail. I like the fact that you've got quite a thick black line going round all of these, which helps with my colouring, it does help with my colouring. Your seahorse, look at the seahorse and the jellyfish. Just £5.99, so that's the under the sea one. I know that we've seen this before, so I won't spend as much time on that one. The um, woodland, Nice, it is a really nice panel. And I know that a lot of Debbie's panels that we've seen in the past, when we've seen these lovely autumnal, 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 <gasps> autumnal um, projects, these are going to be great for that. And look, you've got your little deer, you've got your honey bear, your fox. We're talking about colour in the mean with felt tips and colours, you know, these colour fast um, markers but I'm also thinking what about as I say embroidering onto them so you could use your embroidery skein to do them now we've got less than 10 of the panels the pens sorry you've got less than 10 of the the pens left so if you do want the pens to go with absolutely snap them up we'll try and get them more and there might be different options of different pens online but I must say those pens are brilliant value for money. I think they're the ones with the finest, well, they are definitely the ones with the finest nib and a real great array of colours. Really great array of colours for that price. Just £5.99 and that's your woodland. Oh, look, I just love how they're all smiling, look. Even your little snail smiling. Your little caterpillar. It's great that we can bring them to you. It's, this is what's so good about, you know, all of our team that are working behind the scenes, designing and producing and printing all of these different um, fabric panels. What's this one? I haven't opened this one out yet. Oh, this is just our... Um... <gasps> oh, okay. Our flowers of the month. Now, I've got Lily. I've not seen them. Are these normally launched on a Sunday then? Just doing a little bit of a recap. No, I'm just wondering. I know that this is May, just because I've never seen any of our flowers of the month panels. So this is Lily. 
Now, I absolutely love Lily, Lily of the Valley, this is slightly different to, um, to different Lilies that you might know, but I always find, obviously, gifting flowers somebody is really beautiful, very, very thoughtful indeed, but they, they don't last very long. What about incorporating one into a cushion or if you know somebody who loves lilies these are beautiful gift ideas for people and especially as you've got the little labels at the bottom as well so you can put your quilted by and um and, and either embroider or again use your, your marking pens or if you've got one of the monogramming options on your machine you could always embroider or, or stitch along um, your name may lily of the valley maybe somebody's birthday's in may £9.99. I know that Debbie's made seat cushions, she's made bags, she's made pillows, made loads with these. Because then you also have, along with that panel, like what we had with the wreath and the, um, the mistletoe, sorry, earlier on, you've got your two and a half inch strips as well. Yeah, a lot for £9.99. A lot for £9.99 on that. So that's May. I've got some other months to show you. I don't know whether they're in order. Let me just check. Are there any before May? No. So they should be. This is T Y U U, or is it J U J E U U fifty six or P? I'll just open any of them. Let's just see. They're not going to be in order. Yeah. Uh, no, I've got T W. This is August. This is this month. Oh, it's poppies. I absolutely adore poppies. I think they're so gorgeous. Look at the detail on this. That's really nice, isn't it? And these colours, they're like the corally pinks. One of my favourite colours, these peachy corals are stunning. So you've always got your uh, poppy panel, which is 12 inch square. And then you've also got all five of your two and a half inch strips, which are complementing perfectly. Plus your labels, it's another great value panel exclusive to us for £9.99. That's your flower of the month for August. I'm excited to see what you do with all of these. Maybe you're making loads of cushions or with the different flowers. Or it's nice if it's somebody's favorite flower, or maybe a wedding flower, or one, you know, that's that's associated with a certain memory. This is J-E-U-U-56, thank you. And these are like lovely lav um, lavendery blues. Oh, this is, um, what flower is this? Delphinium, I was just checking I was gonna say it right. Delphinium. So is a delphinium like a bluey, violety purple? It's gorgeous. This is where we need Hannah. She's the uh, she's the, the green fingered of us all. Cat's like, uh, yeah, we spend so much time with Hannah in the garden center. Don't we, Cat? And I always just, me and Cat say, we'll meet you by the sweets, you know, at the garden center when they do the lovely sweets. And Hannah gets so excited with all of the plants. She's got a beautiful garden. 12 by 12. At the moment, my garden is all in my living room. We're having all of our Decking up, oh, and it's a nightmare. There's spiders everywhere, it's horrible. I keep going around with the hoover like, oh, spiders everywhere. So you've also got your five complementing strips. Nine pounds and 99 pence for your July flower of the month. Spiders are good for your house, are they? Don't get me wrong, I'm not actually that scared of spiders. I'm, it's, it's more Kira. <laughs> Oh yes, anybody who has watched us over the last few weeks, you're probably like, whatever, you had to leave the show because of the spider fix. It was the biggest spider you've ever seen in your life that was crawling along the back wall and I did have to leave the show. It's not there now, Rachel, don't worry. She's like, oh my word, where is it? And I had to go, I literally started crying, it was horrible. I had to go upstairs and Hannah came down and um, presented for you. I don't know why, I think it was more the shock. <laughs> I don't think I'm that scared of spiders. Right, this one is June, which is rose. Oh, see, they are beautiful. And I know so many people who, of course, got different reasons why they love roses. But instead of buying roses, how expensive roses are, why not buy something that they can keep? Your front garden's got a rose bush this colour. Aren't you so lucky? Will you bring me some in? They're dead at the minute. Do you duck after your garden, Paul? Paul has got like a huge secret garden all at the back. It goes winding up and down. It's beautiful. Next, yeah, it's really whimsical. Do they do garden, um, like open gardens around where you live? I bet they do. 
I bet they do. You could open your garden up once you've got it all looking nice. <laughs> so you get your 12 inch square panel plus your five complementary fabric strips and your labels for £10.99. That's for June. Okay. Um, I think we've more or less made our way through everything. Is there anything else that we wanted to show before we get Rachel on? Let's just remind you that coming up in the next hour, the So Different patterns are back. Every single time we get these in, um, they're always extremely, extremely popular. This is the flounce dress, which you can see behind us. Look at it, it is gorgeous. Now we've pinned the one side over, so you can see this beautiful flounce, but honestly, these fabrics, they are beautiful. We've got so many gorgeous fabrics which we're gonna be launching with Rachel, plus the pattern. Last time we had a so different pattern in, they're completely sold out. So if you do know, you definitely want it, don't wait till after the break, get onto the website and check out now. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. 
Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Are you ready for a bit of dressmaking? I love today's show because we've got just something for everybody, haven't we? Now, for anybody who is maybe starting out dressmaking, there's a lot of people who I've been speaking to, especially over the last few months, who have been getting into sewing. And I think a lot of reasons why we get into dressmaking is through pure frustration of getting the right fit in the shops or things that haven't, uh, you know, being different sizes in all different shops, it's, it gets a bit frustrating. And also finding the right fabrics, finding fabrics that you love and being able to make your own garments is just the biggest achievement, I think. When somebody sort of says to you, oh, where'd you get that? And you can say you made it. Oh, it's the biggest sense of satisf uh, satisfaction. So what I love about so different patterns is that quite often some patterns I've found and it almost put me off dressmaking at the start, was they were so vague and didn't really, for a beginner, give me a helping hand. It would say, now insert dart, now do this. And I'm like, well, I don't know what, how to do that or what that is. So what I love about these patterns is they give you really, really clear instructions and break it down beautifully. There is so much help online. They've got a great uh, customer service base and, and social media presence that they're really, really good at helping anybody who's getting into dressmaking. They're beautiful contemporary designs. This dress that we're looking at today, the flounce dress, is amazing. Now you've seen it on the mannequin behind me for the whole day, uh, the fabric choices that we've got for you today, but obviously you can choose lots of different um, fabrics at home, but the dress is gorgeous and I think actually because the great thing is is that they give you a huge size range from size 8 to 26 and I think it's going to suit every shape I really really do it's got that beautiful flounce and you can see how you could choose to use contrasting fabrics if you want to make a real definite um, difference with with the uh, with the, the color palette color paneling or as Rachel's done here just using the same fabric just gives you that extra bit of flounce, but you, you obviously don't see it as much on the dress, um, which is beautiful. You can when you see closely that it's got this lovely curve. It is absolutely beautiful. And that scoop neck, I think it's very flattering and easy to wear. Now it says a difficulty level is two. So if you've done a bit of dressmaking before, if you've done some sewing and you're thinking, right, even a adventurous beginners, I'm calling out to you. Uh, it says, you can knock this up in three hours, which is great, isn't it? The second image on the website, if you go onto the description, you'll be able to have a really good look, a clearer look at this little box here, which it's a really good habit to get into when you're starting dressmaking, to measure yourself, to so that every, like with stores, um, every size 10 is different, every size 12 is different. We're all different body shapes and different sizes. So it's really good to get into the habit of measuring yourself. And that's what's great about this, is that of course, all of the, um, all of the measurements are there and, and, and you could of course make sure that you're, you're making this exactly to your body shape. It's from size eight to 26. Normally if dressmaking patterns say go up to an eight to 14 and then split from 14 to something else, you're thinking, right, I'm normally on that borderline. Where do I sort of fit into? This is just one pattern for all. Uh, and we'll go through it with Rachel, but I know she was telling me earlier, it's all color coordinated, it's easy to read, it's brilliant. So that's your pattern, it's 14.99, which is fantastic value for money. They also offer you great hacks 
as well with it. So there's variations with this dress, which we'll talk to about Rachel. We'll talk to um, uh, Rachel about. Now, also, I was going to mention, last time that we had any so different patterns in was when we were on with Adele last week. Every pattern sold out. Every single one sold out. They're really popular. Now, I know that they were selling before we brought the graphics in, so now it's been live. And um, bearing in mind we're streaming live on Facebook now, I've got a feeling that that could sell very, very quickly indeed. Now let's jump straight into the fabric that you've seen uh, Rachel making this dress out of already. It's beautiful. The first thing that strikes me is obviously the colours and the design, but also it's so, so soft. It is so beautifully soft. It is one of the most arty, gorgeous dresses and you can team this with loads of different colors those of you that don't normally go for lots of bright colors you could actually bring in those navies and bring in like a navy jacket or something and, and tone it down slightly or by all means if you go for it daring go for it you can have a bright pink pair of shoes and fascinator we are thinking quite dressy actually with this but equally because of how comfortable it is cash as well i'd love to just it just looks comfortable, doesn't it? It looks so comfortable, um, especially after lockdown. I need everything that's just a bit more comfy. So, so beautiful. Right now, this is um, four meters. We've already made a bundle, oops, which is big enough to do, which is enough fabric to do the, the biggest size. So you've got plenty of fabric there to play around with. Now, if you aren't um, the largest size, if you're making a smaller size, then you've got fabric left over. Maybe if you want to make headband to match, matching bag or scrunchies, or make loads with it, couldn't you? You could do like a tie that you, you can pull around the waist. Lots that you're going to be able to do with the fabric. So four meters there, lots to play around with. What's the um, composition of this? Is it a viscose? It's so beautifully soft. It really, really is. 62 pounds and 99 pence for your field of flowers. First time that we've seen it, yeah, it is a viscose, so it's so nice and cool as well. Um, it's 140 wide. That's four metres. Sorry, my folding isn't going to be very good. <laughs> right, let's jump to, can we do these other two bundles? This one is um, the NOR512, UBX. <gasps> This is one of my favourite fabrics we've ever, ever had. Now, I don't know whether I should say this, but it reminds me of a very famous designer beginning with a T and the second word <laughs> starts with a T and then second part of that first word is Ed. Starts with a T and then Ed. Um, and then, it, you know, like makes cakes, <laughs> making bread. You know which one I mean? <gasps> Gosh, it's so gorgeous. These beautiful colours. Once again, four metres. And this is viscose also, so it's ever so soft indeed. 140 wide cat, I believe. 140 wide. Gorgeous colours. Those of you that um, that wear viscose, I mean, I've got some viscose dresses and Paul's saying I've got viscose shirts. They iron beautifully. They feel so lovely and soft on your skin. They're really breathable. So absolutely make the most of this whilst you can. It's the first time that we've had this fabric and it's gorgeous. 62.99 for four meters, which is again enough to make the largest size. This is quite autumnal actually, isn't it? You could wear it with like chunky sort of tights and a cardi. Dress it down. This is 98% viscose and it has also got a real little stretch to it, 2% spandex, so it's got a lovely little stretch, but that's beautiful. £62.99 for your woodland. We've got the similar print. It's different actually. I'm saying it's similar, it's not. When I looked at it the first time round, I thought that it looked quite similar. It's actually quite different. Right, this one, you know the code. You love this one. Ah, oh, the birds, this is so beautiful. They're all gonna work very, very well in these, in the dresses, it's the first time I've seen it. It's gorgeous, 62 pounds, 99, four meters. Do you want me to spin it round? Is it upside down? Look at the peacock feather. Oh yeah, it is, absolutely. Look at that, peacocks. 90% viscose, again, 2% spandex. And look at the detail. Beautiful peacock feathers. 
How do you know that's a male peacock? The feathers. So what do female peacocks have? Not feathers. They're brown with no, no feathers. Oh no. They don't have all the feathers. No way. I mean, they look so glam, don't they, all of them? Yeah, they go. Oh, apparently it's just to attract the ladies. Oh. That's why um, Paul's always in all of his feathers. 62.99. Pardon? Paul the peacock. There you go. <laughs> So that's not the first time I've been called that. Just sixty-two ninety-nine for four meters of your hunter's quest. What was that? Sorry, cat. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Let me show you that. So we've also got an option because these are all obviously presuming you want to do it with one colour, like you're seeing Rachel's done here. But also, if you do want to do it with two colourways, like on the front of the pattern, we've put together a very very similar colourway. Yeah, very similar indeed to what you can see on the pattern. So you have pink and orange, which I always think is a bit of a clash, but it's a really good clash. It works very, very well, actually. The um, the coral is beautiful. They're silky, silky soft again. I think these are, are your viscose. Um, you're getting two meters of each, two meters of each. Now I talked to Rachel about, you know, you've obviously got to do some easing in to get that lovely curve. Um, but it is going to be such a contrast, isn't it? Having the two different colours together, it's going to look completely individual. I think all of the fabrics, it looks a very, very designer dress. And think about how much that costs. For just $58.99, you're getting loads of fabric. You can make something completely unique. The beautiful coral and the blush pink, both, again, 100% viscose for $58.99. Fabrics by the half metre that are available. The bunnies are so cute. This will look lovely. How nice does this look? Actually, a lovely little bunny rabbit with the whites and the pinks. Now, I'll ask Rachel, but if you have a look on the back of the packet about how much fabric you're going to need um, for this, as this is now by the half meter. So if you do want to make a smaller size, then of course you, you can now buy by the half meter. But it doesn't look like it from there, does it? But they're little bunny rabbits. There you go. You can see from there probably clearer. Little pink bunnies, little green bunnies. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We've then also got a completely different fabric. So that's, as I say, viscose. This one feels like a crepe. Right, let's have a look. Viscose is viscose still. Feels different though. It's like um, it, it does feel almost. Is it a chalice? A viscose chalice. That's quite cool, isn't it? Very tropical indeed. Seven ninety nine and a half meter. Hundred percent viscose. Again, your chance to buy as much as you want. Just so you know, that's one three five wide. So it will um, suggest on the back of the pattern how much fabric you're going to need, depending on the width of your fabrics. The last one before, oh no, we've got two more, well, very quickly. Harbour ropes, oh, this all look nice as well with that, wouldn't it? 7 dollars a half metre. Have a look on the website and just type in viscose and see, because in fact, actually, I'll have a look on the, the back of the pattern, but it will suggest different fabrics that this is going to be suitable with. But viscose, especially this sort of time of year, it's all funny weather still, isn't it? I don't know if it's hot. Do I need a cardi? Do I need a jacket? Do I put my winter boots on? Cat refused to wear anything other than flip flops. Still got them on. Still got them on. I put my winter boots on the other day. My mum was like, what are you doing? Putting your winter boots on, it's still boiling. It's like, but it's... So wet and windy and cold, isn't it? This is your foliage. 7 99 a half metre. So this would look lovely just with the black viscose um, flounce. 2% spandex in this slight stretch. Just £7.99 and a half metre. So we've got a few fabrics like that by the half metre. There's more on the website, as I say, type in viscose on the web. If you type in the word so different as well, then you'll see the, re may the remaining patterns that we have available. We'll go through those at the end of the show. So we will get Rachel on. If you've seen anything that you love, now is the chance to check out of your basket. This is how you shop.
Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, Rachel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, we're just having a, a, a good old natter about the fabrics. They're beautiful, aren't they? I know. And I, to be honest with you, I can't actually get over the price of it. I'm not just saying that. Yeah. As a professional dressmaker, I, I like my clothes when I've made them to look like nobody else has got that dress yeah. on. Yeah. You like compliments, don't you? So, um, you know, like, so like I say, rather than making your dresses from granny old sheets, yeah. if you buy really professional fabrics, you will get a professional finish. And you can pay a lot for fabrics, even, I've paid £25, £26 a metre. Gosh. Which I know works out expensive, but then if you get somebody to make it for you, you're talking of hundreds of pounds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I so would this buy great this value for tomorrow, yeah. today, yeah. I even, yeah, I would buy it today, I really would. Now you've got the, the dressmaking pattern laid out, which yeah. is great for us to see, because the quality of the pattern paper in the so different patterns is great, isn't it? Absolutely, I mean, you can hear it now, you can hear it crinkling, can't you? Yeah, it's not like the tissue paper. Really thick, nice and thick tissue paper. paper, you know, many patterns are made out of tissue paper, but sometimes if you put your pin in... It, it, you make Rips. it tears, doesn't it? Yeah, really annoying. Whereas so this does this is really mean thick. that I can reuse my pattern if I don't oh, want to cut yeah. it up? Could I trace it? Do yes, you, think? you could. What, yeah, what most paper definitely. What paper am I best to trace it onto? Um, I would just. Tra I mean, I've traced it onto brown paper before yeah. now. Yeah, you know anything that you know that's sort of stable and just put your put your carbon paper underneath and just draw around. You can see these. The colour coordinated lines. So they're all they're determined different sizes, are they? Absolutely. So that's yeah. really clear because sometimes yeah. when they are very close to each other, even sometimes they do all a longer dash or shorter dash, and it's hard to differentiate because yeah, it between. goes into a thick black line. Yeah. Have you seen that yeah. before? And it's really annoying. But um, but with this, you've got a definite point to the dart okay. there, and then you just follow your colour. I mean, mine's bright pink, as you can see. Mine's oh, a bright lovely. pink line. So, um, and it's just very, very easy to follow. And I would say that this pattern is very easy. Really? Absolutely for a beginner. Ah, oh, fantastic. Absolutely. And I mean, it doesn't look like, it looks like when you've, it's finished, I know. it looks like a designer dress. I know, exactly. Exactly, that's what I was saying, you yeah. know. With I the, saw this with the right in Monsoon fabrics. or Laura Ashley or even yeah. higher end even when yeah. you go into any of the big designer yeah. stores. I mean, I've bought the Laura Ashley beautiful. dresses before now, 85 pounds. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's, That's cheap it. for Laura, actually, I yeah. can tell you. And that flounce is, I think, yeah. what makes it, isn't oh, it? Oh, most definitely. I mean, that's, I would say that's probably the only trickier bit right. um, that you'll come across because it's, because it's curved. And like you rightly said earlier, you have to slightly ease it in. It's just a little bit tricky, but you'll see with the pattern um, shape, this is another thing with the pattern. You'll see this is the whole front. Right. So with a lot of patterns, you'll have it folded over. Yeah. Right, and then you cut it out on the fold. Because this is a slightly different shape, you will have, this is the front of the pattern, and it will sh be shaped like this to fit oh. that piece in. Oh, lovely. Do you lovely. see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you've got a coordinating back. So this is, so that's what's made, that's a little bit trickier. But I think it's good tricky. Yeah. Because yeah. you learn by nice, that. Nice, great skills, exactly. Absolutely. You learn all the time. Um, so I'm just going to follow through with um, with how to do a dart mm -hmm. oh, um, yeah, on a dress. Brilliant. What my tips are, how I do it. Mm -hmm. um, it's the best thing I, I you know, the, the, the best way that I find is easiest for me. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a dart. 
um, we're going to put the back and the front together and then I'm going to show you how to put the neck facing on. So there's this little bit that comes round here. Oh nice, so that's all okay. faced as well. Yeah. Now Beautiful. what you would do, which I haven't done, is to um is to understitch, what they call understitch, mm -hmm. which I will explain a bit later on. And it just stops that from rolling rolling yeah. over. Right. All right. So um so as I said, the pattern pieces, I think that there's six pattern pieces, so you've got two backs which is one shorter one and one longer one <laughs> yeah um, then you've got a front piece which is three but then you've got your flounce which is four mm -hmm. and then you've got your front facing which is five and your back face facing which is six and that's really good for a dress fab so there's only six pieces and some people might find viscose difficult to handle there is nothing difficult about it right. i think many people say oh viscose oh you don't want to use that because it's all slippery yes it is a bit slippery but then all you do is when you put the viscose out onto your cutting table, just play about with it. That's what I do. Just do this and put in a, and then just until it's nice and straight and then pin it down. Right, OK. Don't panic. Yeah. Yeah, you're in charge. Exactly. You know, the fabric's not going to eat you alive. Absolutely. And the results are beautiful, aren't yeah. they? If you, you can start to venture out and learn with these different fabrics. I think so, yeah. Oh, you can get some really beautiful oh, finishes. Oh, yeah, and things, nobody's watching you. Yeah, exactly. So you've got a quick unpick. We're watching you. <laughs> watching me, watching you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you've got a quick unpick. So if you do make a mistake, no problem. Just unpack it, unpick it and just do it again. Right. Just relax with it. Lovely. So you've pinned all so that down. So we've pinned all the right side down. So what you will see, I've just threaded my needle. Um, to do a tail attack, you do not knot the bottom of the of the thread, okay, because you need that, that thread. Now, always what I do as well, you'll see with a dart, it the pattern will come out to a point because right. you're going to be folding it round. So what I simply do is I just make a little snip at each point at the end, which I've done there, which shows oh, the yeah. end of the dart. And then I will follow that through to the little pink. And like we did last time I was on, you just lift the pattern Make sure I haven't got anything underneath. So this is your tail attack. So you just pull it through once. No knot. And then you put it through again. Just hold that bit there. So you have a little loop in the middle. So just snip that off. Okay. That's so much quicker than I thought it would be, tail attacks. It is quick. I mean, it? you could use the Frixian pens, yeah. to be honest with you. That that would be a really good idea. It's just that I've been taught, see, look, I nearly put you it in the, the wrong blue. one. I so nearly put it in the wrong the one. The yeah. pink, bright pink, your The color. bright pink. So there we go with the second one. It's good that you've got all those different sizes, though, in one pattern, isn't it? It is loads incredible. Of people are going to ask you to make it for them. Yeah, but I tell you what, another thing is, is that with a lot of patterns, the patterns turn out really thick and you're dealing with all this um, uh, tissue paper and you'll find that it's in two halves. So one half of the tissue pile yeah. is for smaller sizes, right. say like up to so like size 14 or yeah. something. Yeah. And then you'll have another set of tissue paper, but you yeah. don't know until you've opened it out. Oh, How exactly. annoying. I've really done that annoying. before. Opened it all out. I think, oh no, I need the other one. So there we have the tailor's tacks. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm just going to just quickly whiz these pins out. Over, uh, well, we're looking at about half the stock of the pattern gone. I, I, do you know, I'm not surprised. <laughs> It's a beautiful dress, and yeah. um, I know that when I was saying about their online presence, you were nodding at me. They've got a yeah. great social media online they have. presence with lots of help and guidance and videos. Lots of tips, lots of hints. Some um, hacks as well. Hacks as well. So it's exactly the same pattern, but they've just altered it really slightly, and it just, it just extends your skills. Brilliant. Oh, because once you've made this dress, and this is the great thing, there's so in different fabrics, it's going to look so different. Yeah. Like it looks so much different when you see the the, the colour blocking yeah. with the orange and the pink. Yeah. To when you see it in the, the solid fabric. And again, that lovely summery one, this is gonna look really autumnal, isn't it? Thinking with nice chunky jewellery and all I, I I love it. Uh, my favourite I have to say is the peacock, the peacock. one. Um 
and um, my, my little grandson, he loves peacocks now, but he used to absolutely hate them. Oh. We got peacocks up at the farms near where we live. They're very and, um, loud. What oh, noise? Do you know I, what noise peacocks make? I know. Ah, ah. They're, they're really so loud. loud. Aren't they? They're all at work at Castle. And I live not far from there. And I, I know that since um, since lockdown, we're all hearing all of the the animals a lot more so, aren't we? Oh, the birds. Man. Whereas the peacocks are just screaming. Very loud. They're so loud. But of course, they've just gone past the mating season. But of course, right. when they when they're going through the mating season, it's actually quite. Quite loud. <laughs> right. This is a lovely fabric. So what I... That's one there. Where's your other, other one? Where's my other one? Have I pulled it, it out? out? I think it might have pulled out. But like I said, don't panic. We can just lie it back on again. It might be the threads are actually on. Oh no. Yeah, just lie it back on there very quickly. Do you think quickly. so? I know you've done it in a, a thread that's. Um... But you could do Quite it in dark. a different colour. Could you do it colored. in a different colour so yeah. then you can see and, it, and actually, if I'd have been a bit more sensible, that's probably what I should have done this morning. But never mind. It's next to your sewing machine on the right-hand side. Oh, there. yes. There we go. Let's do that quickly yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a look at the, uh, the picture again of the finished dress? We've clipped it over to the side. It isn't like a big dress, but I just wanted to show you that lovely flounce because that is such beautiful detail. Now, the dress that Rachel's made up to size 20 here, um, again, I think it's very flattering for all sizes. I think this is going to be some, something that really suits everybody and every, literally everybody. Um, the colourway that you're seeing on the screen there is the one that the graphics are in for, and that's four metres of fabric for 62.99. That is a lot of fabric for your money. And I, I think with the um, the floral one, does it have a direction, Rachel? Do I need to worry about directional prints um, with, with the floral? With this, I've done it again. Why is that? It's not gone through. <laughs> Let's have one of your Frixian pens. Let's try yeah, that absolutely. out. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have one of those. Let's have a nice red one. Let's do it properly, eh? That's why, because the papers are really thick. Right. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. No panic. No panic. Graphics are live for the pattern, by the way. We're down to the last. Well, wow, less than 35 of these now, which um, about a quarter of the stock left, that's it. Only a quarter of the stock left. Saved by the Frixian pen. There you go, early bird special saving the day. There we go. So I'm just going to put a little pin in there just so that I know where it is. Right, so there we go. So we've got one dart there. Right, okay. So what we do now is that you turn, this is the top, so you actually turn it the wrong side round, okay? So then what I always do is I put a little pin where I've done the tailor tack on the opposite side. And I would also take the tailor tack out at this stage because sometimes when you sew it, it can get caught in between the right. stitches and then it's very difficult to get out. There we go. The one that Rachel's working with is the Woodland Harmony. It's really it's beautiful. lovely. Really autumnal. Really lovely. There's only seven of those bundles left. Ooh. Right, so you'll see where I said that I've put the, the, the little, notch. little notches. So just put your pin in there. And then you just grab the end of your dart and then put a pin in there. Now there's a reason as well why I've got the pins running from the edge to there. Can you just shimmy it over to the other side? That side, that's it. Yeah. All right. So Thank I, you. my pin is pointing that way. Right. So I want to be stitching down that way, okay? Because if you don't, sti if, if you don't stitch um, starting from the edge and then finish off here, you will find like a little pimple on the end. Which not where and you with want ladies, in that. that's not a good look. No, no. absolutely. So go from the outside from in. The outside Is that all in. with most darts? I would say with all darts. Right, okay. And I suppose you're aiming for that centre point as well. Yes, you are. I mean, what I tend to do is I need to, I tend to sort of put a pin in either side until it meets up. 
Yeah. So then you've got your pins going like that. Right, so put plenty of pins in. Put plenty of pins in, I would say, just to hold it, especially with the viscose um, fabric as well. Brilliant. So I'll show you why. Just going down to the cellar again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from the edge and then what I'm going to do when I get up to this point, I'm just going to let the machine continue. Right. Because when it continues, it automatically swizzles around the, the thread. Okay. All right. You should really knot it off at the edge of the of the dart so it doesn't come undone. Just before you put it down, sorry, can yep. we just show Paul where it is that Rachel's sewing? So I'm sewing from that point there yep. where I've cut to that point there, so it's right Fab. down to nothing. I'm with you. Okay. Right. And now, are you leaving your pins in while you're doing this? I take them out as I go along. Okay. You should never really sew with, you know, over your pins or anything like that. You ruin your machine. But I'll just start that off quickly. With a little reverse? With a little reverse, yeah, which, which holds that in place at the side, but that's the right. only time that you need to go backwards and forwards. So just follow your pins down. So you can see we're getting narrower and narrower. We're nearly to the point. So when you get to the end of the point, yep. Are you best to do a locking stitch as opposed to reversing, or you what just do you think? Follow it just through like that. Just keep going off the end. Okay. Ah, like when you're on your overlocker. Absolutely. Now what you'll see is, I'll show you here, on the overhead, you can see those that little thread there, two threads, and it's winded itself. Ah, round. yeah, yeah. So then okay. you took, do you need to, not that I took it in you or You don't not? need to if it's sufficiently wound, wound round. Oh, that's good. Okay. It's going to hold itself. So it will hold itself. Wedding dresses, I do tend to, um, I do tend to um, knot it at the end because obviously a wedding dress takes a lot of um, mm -hmm. force on it really. <laughs> well, by the time you've got sequins yeah, mine and definitely boning did. and... Did yours come and done? Oh, the uh, no, just the dance moves that I was doing by the end of the night. I thought my poor wedding dress. Oh no! Yeah, I was doing the splits. Because I, you know, because I do, um, I do cleaning for for brides as well. Well, yeah. I don't clean them. Oh, but, so you see them? But in I have some the facility. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, well, I was horrified when I saw how dirty mine was, but my uh, mum was like, "But it's all the memories. Like, well, look how much good." Fun you had. Do you know what I say to the brides when they bring them in? They say, oh, I'm so sorry, my dress is absolutely disgusting. I say, well, that's fine, I'm really pleased it is. Or bride comes in and she says, it's okay, I just need it clean just to spruce it up. I didn't make it dirty at all. And then I say to them, well, what on earth were you doing Exactly, then? they're just... You should be enjoying your wedding. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so we're going to do exactly the same again with this side. Oh, we had two messages, by the way, from Jackie for you. Oh, so is that Jackie from Highworth, did she say? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, she's got a little... Says you're fabulous. Yeah, oh, oh, that's my best friend, Jackie. Oh. Hi, Jackie. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a little recruitment company. She's a very successful lady, actually. But she's helped me no end with this with Gary. Oh, amazing. It's lovely how everybody sort of all pulls yeah. together. Yeah. Well, Jackie's had some down times sometimes, haven't you, Jack? Hey. But, um, you know, you just pull together as, as friends, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So, again, just going from that outside into outside, the dark. Outside, bring it down to a point until you're back, until you're practically to nothing. Because what you want to do, you want to bring your needles so that you've got no more fabric to sew on. Sometimes I always think, oh, when a pattern doesn't, we have quite a few patterns recently actually that yeah. don't have darts, and I go, oh, it doesn't have darts, brilliant. But actually, <laughs> it adds great shape. It doesn't shapes it? it, especially for a lady, yes. you know. And and Very also, I have. think it, if a lady, um, well, I mean, you'll see see here, look, especially with a lady that's got a, a larger bust, 
um, I mean, I find if I don't have a dart in there, it looks like Hangs, a tent. Yeah. You know, it's, it's fine if you've got a lovely little... Yeah. Lovely little figure like yours. Oh Vicky. no! Oh my word! No, I but, um, um, definitely you know, but... <laughs> need all the darts to help my shaping. But for the more mature woman, or you know, like the larger ladies, um, then you know, to have a dart, it just makes you feel as though you've got something a little bit shapey. Yeah. So pressing. Do you press up? Do you press down? I would press down. Okay. All I suppose right. on bus starts as well. Yeah, you want it all to go. Yeah. So. so down. You want it to lay flat. That's it, that's all laid back. Okay. So when you've actually pressed that. I know we haven't given you one here, but do you find sometimes on a, a tailor's ham or something it's good yeah. to press your darts because you almost have that that curve? Oh there you go. You got one of the sleeves. I mean I I mean I did actually bring that with me to oh, do that's the, yours. Yeah, to do the facings actually, because I find, you know, sometimes especially when you've sewn it round into a circle, it's mm -hmm. very difficult to get underneath it. Yeah. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute. Because this is designed to go around a shape, obviously, yeah. isn't it? On so your do you body. have the tailor's hams here as well? Yeah, we have you? the same one as that one, I think, in the uh, the yeah. ham, that, uh, the same as the sleeve roll. But they're both great yeah. to, do, to do all sorts. In fact, the sleeve I'd rolls. I would say they're yeah. a must-have if you're dressmaking. Right. Trickier, trickier shapes. Mm -hmm. So you'll see here those two darts. And the idea is you can hardly see them. Brilliant. I'll show you where they are. That's the point of the dart. And that's the edge of the dart. You can't see them, can you? You can't see them. No. But it's actually beautiful. shaped it shaped the top. So um and that's that's really good. All so right? that's all the So that's front. your darts. Brilliant. You, know, right. you also wanted to do the facing and I the wanted to do the facing. Back. So this is the back of the um of the dress so that's done in two parts so that's done in two parts it has to be done in two parts actually because what because one half i haven't cut it here just to save time but it comes in two halves because one side mm -hmm. is a long back right what they call a long back so it's got this shape going down at the back oh lovely um, and then the other side is the shorter one. Okay. So when you when you put the curve on, it meets it round the waist, and then it goes back down to the down right. to the frill. Because there's no zips or anything like that. No, nope, you dress, don't need them. It just goes over the head. Yep. Just over the head. Let's just press that down a bit again. So you're pressing that open. Yep. The press back. the seams open. So when you're ready, when you've done your darts, you then add the the front to the back. So as with everything, and with the bag making as well, uh, right side together. Okay. Okay. So this is, it's all transferable skills, like we say. So I'm just going to pop a little pin there and a little pin on the end. It does really make a difference too. I know it takes a little bit longer in, and a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like pinning, but in dressmaking... Especially when you're working with viscose yeah. or, you know, a slightly more sticky and, fabric, they'll be your friends. And also, don't be frightened that if you feel a little bit nervous, even just with the pins in, don't feel too nervous to tack it first as well. Oh, okay, good idea. Um, and then you've got a really solid um, piece of fabric that you're sewing together. In fact, when I was at school, that was the way that we were taught. And obviously as children you think, oh no, I'm never going to make this, it's taking far too long. But actually the results, that is the correct way to do it really. It comes together quite quick. I know it says on the back of the pattern that it's sort of estimated time is about three hours, which is brilliant, isn't it? For yeah, a dress? it is. I mean, I do, I do think, and there's nothing wrong with this, but I do think that sometimes the patterns may slightly over exaggerate because I think when people start to make dresses they think oh no I haven't made mine in three hours so mine's taken six hours it really doesn't, doesn't matter, matter does no it? no it's like you're cooking exactly. I like to whip up a dish so quickly whereas my husband he will spend ages prepping everything getting it yeah. all in the dishes ready to go exactly so he spends hours cooking and exactly. it's nice he really enjoys yeah. it so if you this is what you love and yeah. it's supposed to be a hobby yeah Spend the afternoon. And you've got it right. Yeah. And you're going to have people say, where did you get that dress? Absolutely. Oh, I made it. I, made I bet it that, is, that is such the, the most satisfying feeling. Yeah. Um, I, I do get that every time I wear a dress I've made. And oh, it is nice. nice. So I'm just going to 
sew the shoulders together, right? Which will then make the shape for um, make the shape for our facings. Less than twenty of the patterns left now. Less than Ooh. twenty of them. I've got a feeling this is going to be another sellout. We yeah. actually have more patterns in stock than we did um, the pattern last week with Adele. So less than twenty is fantastic. In fact, I think if we had the same amount of patterns that we had last week, then this would have sold out too by now. <laughs> so definitely make the most of it as soon as you can. In fact, lots of people are typing so different onto the website. You can see the other patterns that they've got on there too. The long line jacket, which is the one that's on the uh, the other I mannequin. I love that. That's really nice. Oh no, that would look lovely in. Um, I know we've got it in a like a really lightweight denim, but in a ball uh, a boiled wool would look lovely yeah. as well. On in a. Um... Brocade. Linen. Brocade, yeah, or linen. Oh, you know, for like the party jacket. Yeah. Yeah, you could have that quite smart. Yeah. The second shoulder. Can't pick up. When I had my nails done yesterday. They look lovely, they, they look well, really nice colour. But they, they filed them down a little bit, so now I can't pick my pins up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going like this, trying to pick them up. They look lovely colour. Yeah, it's nice, it's sort of more sheer than what I normally would have, but I thought, yeah, let's go for glitter. We are in nearly September, and it's telly nails, isn't it? Bit of glitter. Oh no, I need You've to, got um, to look paint posh. Mine. Yeah, they do look when very you're on the telly. Look at my nails. I I've really been struggling during this lockdown to try and do my own nails. It's it's Oh, I can't, I can't I get paint it all over though. the place. Yeah, my it's my other side my right hand trying to do my um <laughs> it's really difficult. So that's your back and so front. So this is all the back together. and the front all sewn together. Okay, so this is quite important actually when you when you join the shoulders together that you open out the seams and you give it a press because it's easier to put the facings on, which will come apparent in a se in a second. Now this you can use steam. Oh, oh no, you're oh. spraying me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very joking. Oh, in gosh. Go near me. The other day, who was it that was spraying, 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 spraying? And the whole desk was soaked. So, oh, Cara, it was so oh, funny. Was it? <laughs> She was like just spraying away, thinking it was a steam, and we're, our whole <laughs> desk was just so. Now, which is the steam one? The right hand the, side. This one here. Yeah. Sorry about that, Vicky. It's still squirting a little bit, but not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there we go. So that just seems, seems flattened out there. So that and you have to put it round the right side, okay? There's a reason for that. Oh, I do love this colour. All right, it is It is really, it's a bit special, isn't it, this mm -hmm. one? Look at that drape, beautiful. Um, so you'll see, it's not this on the pattern, but on the pattern it will show you where the centre front is. Yeah. So I always put a little notch in there, right. so just to remind me where that centre is, and that does help you when you put the facings on. Oh, good idea. So these are the facings. Do you need to interface them? No. Oh, I think good. it's meant to be very loose. Loose. Okay. Usually with facing, it is a good point. Yeah. Usually you would put yeah. facings on, iron-on facings, but a bit more of a structured dress maybe. Whereas this isn't a very structured dress. Maybe if you're using a different fabric. Yeah. Yes, I would say if you if you use brocade, then I think I would. Okay, I'm just looking to see suggested fabrics: crepes, viscose, um, silk, lightweight wool, jersey, other stretch fabrics with good dray. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, also be used for these. We would suggest going one or two sizes smaller than your usual size, depending depending on the stretch of your fabric. Is that with the jerseys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would certainly use an iron-on interfacing. Okay. with those as well because it just adds a bit of stability. I do like the option of, of potentially being able to add a uh, contrasting fabric as well if desired. Yeah. It would look lovely. Oh, yeah. That's one side of the facing. 
We've got about 10 minutes, Rachel. Oh, I wanted to ask oh. you as well, because I know last time I was talking about adjuster forms, you messaged in, because you've yeah. got the uh, the adjuster forms, haven't I you? I have, yeah. I've got the plus size, because that's yeah. my size. Yeah, but, brilliant. Do you know, when I'm making clothes for myself, um, I find it incredibly difficult, because because you have to put the dress on, and then you're fiddling about with what, you know, and you're all, already and off it comes it. again, and yeah. then you, you, so you carry on like that. Whereas with my adjuster form, for me, um, it means because I set mine to my size, yeah. So it's far more accurate. So it is. It is good. Quite invaluable, aren't they? Really, when oh, you are dressmaking, like you say it's about worth the drape. It's weight in gold. That's it. There's loads of reasons yeah. why um, a lot of people think about buying yeah. them. In fact, um, I'm not going to say, actually, because um, I don't know whether it's a surprise, but I know somebody who's just bought one for a oh, friend. Right. Oh, and they, right, they are yeah. really, really useful that you can adjust them. Yeah, yeah, you you don't you need can. to pad out all the time. I mean, you always can. You're best to sort of go, do you think, for the smaller size possible, because you can always pad out, can't you? I would certainly go for the smaller mannequin than what you are, okay. because then you can pad it out. Yeah. And then if you lost weight or something, yeah. then you can just take a few layers yeah. of padding yeah. off. Um, so yeah, I would always do that because you can't make a a plus size ma mannequin into yeah. a tiny teeny yeah. one. Yeah. So so once again, pressing them open. Yeah, pressing the seams open, and you'll see why that makes that bit easier to to put in. Okay. So you will see I've got the little notches on here as well. Oh yeah, yeah. You can see that yeah. So now I know, let's put it the right side. So it's always right side against right side. Yeah. So that's my front. So then just put the notch together. And just work it all the way round. And join your shoulder seams up. Now that's where your pressed open seams ah, help. Almost nest them together. Yeah. Do you do any quilting? That's one thing I've never tried. Oh but, really? You know, but never say never. I have always wanted to. You know, when I watch John sometimes on the sewing program, yeah. I think, do you know, I could really give that a go. Yeah. I really want to. But up to now, it's been sort of like the time element, really, because obviously when it's heavy wedding season, I I just have to. Get That's my head it. down and, um, yeah. you know, and get all the dresses done. That's one thing you can't do is change somebody's wedding day. <laughs> no, although all of these poor brides this oh. year, I've had to swap them all over. Oh, tell me about it. I, I feel so sorry for I them. I, I really do. Now, have I got that on the right? We're on the right way. I am, aren't I? There we go. There we go, look. So you're matching so up at those quarter at, points first. Yep, so we're matching up at the side seams. Yeah. Um, that's it on the shoulder seams. Mm -hmm. And then at the little notch where I've got it at the front and the back. So I always pin Fab. that first. Good idea. And then I stretch it round to fit the And hole. it will fit. It will fit. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Some type, with some fabrics, and I would guess with the slightly um, the spandex fabric there, you might need to ease it in a little bit okay. to give the shape. Does that one have a stretch to it or not? Uh, I don't think it does. Oh, it does actually. Tiny. One way. Yeah, right. Yeah, one way. So I'm just going to match up the back notch with the back seam. Okay. Got about five minutes. Plenty of time. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Season Got time pro. for a three-course meal yet. Oh, don't. It's getting to that time, oh. isn't it? Do you know, Gary has a three-course meal in hospital twice a day. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. They're looking after him then. Oh, yeah. So I, I joke with him now and I say to him, well, make the most of it whilst you're in here, Gary, because it's not <laughs> going to happen when you come back home. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're ready to sew now. Is this a good idea to take your, yeah, I was going to say, use your free arm. This is what's nice about, now that's the only thing I haven't got with the 720, but to be fair, um, I don't really need, I don't really sew things like this very often. It's usually on a much larger scale. Right, I'm with you. 
Handy though if you're doing, you know, uh, sleeves and uh, trouser legs uh, and things like this, your facings, or bag making as well. If you're yeah. sewing anything in a, in a circular loop, yeah. the, the 550 has got that free it arm is, option. It is invaluable. Um, I have got like another little machine that does those jobs for me. Yeah. But um, there have been a lot of people, you know, recently that have got like the big machines that stay in a yeah. certain sewing space. But yeah. then they've also got the little, the the little machines. Where yeah, they're... and you, you always have like a little go-to machine for the, you know, stuff that's easier. Yeah, because they're smaller. You know, you might use a bigger machine at home and say if you want to go to a class, you've got a little machine to take to classes. That's with you. it, because they're heavy to lug around. Yeah. your seven twenty, aren't they? It's... But That's she, the well because they're sort of quite heavy. They're they semi-professional, you know. Yeah. So, but I used the new version when Debbie was on here um, in July. Yeah. And um, oh. was it beautiful? Yeah. See, I do. I, I must say that the Elner machines are really, really oh, fantastic. Yeah. And this is ideal for me though, because I don't have a. I saw the dining room table, and when it comes yeah. to dinner time, I do have to put it away. Or yeah. you know, I don't necessarily sew every day for people well, who are more hobby sewers. Well, when I sew at home, mine is a dining room table yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, and um, exactly the same. And I'm not the tidiest of sewers sometimes. No. Me neither. <laughs> So now we've got, um, you know, one of those hoovers. I don't know if I can say the name, but like with the big eyes on the oh, front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it tends to suck up all the, <laughs> all the, all threads, the threads, whereas a I normal hoover... I always go hoover, over loads of threads everywhere. I know. And then when you, when you suck it up with a normal hoover, it gets all wound round, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you're forever giving it a haircut. <laughs> right, nearly finished. Actually, when you see the sewing in the round, yeah. when you look at it like that, you're not actually sewing in a circle, no, are you? No, it's you're straight just pulling, sewing. Because you're just pulling it round, really. Yeah, so it's nothing too tricky. Like no. you say, anybody who is an adventurous beginner, if you yeah. are new to dressmaking, don't avoid this pattern. I think you're going to learn some great oh. techniques, like your darts. doesn't have any zips or anything like that. I, I think it is definitely a learning pattern. Great. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's your facing sewn on. Oh, brilliant. All right, so what a good tip is, you need to snip in to each of the shoulders without cutting this, the stitches. And there's the other shoulder. Then when you're starting to sew, and sometimes when you're making beginner projects, they can almost look, you can feel that I'm a beginner, but I don't want it to look babyish. I'm an adult and I still want it to look good. Exactly. So by using the right fabric. Yep. You can make quite a simple pattern Absolutely. look really, really professional. Absolutely, and that's the trick. Yeah. Simple pattern, Lovely beautiful fabric, fabric yeah. and nobody would know. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure that's what they do in the shops. So I'm just, you'll see me snipping round there because the neckline is slightly rounded. So if, unless you snip, ah. Uh. It won't go round the corners. Right, okay. All right, so what you've got there. Have I got enough time just to just to press that very lightly round? Yeah, a couple of minutes. Brilliant. Um, just so you know, I don't know how we've managed to get this at 14 99 because Kat's on the So Different website. I don't know whether I should say this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's 17, 17 pounds. Yeah, told you. Yeah. There you go. Great price then, fourteen ninety nine, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely, for a pattern that you can keep as well. Did you mean the pattern or the fabric? Oh no, the the pattern. Oh, yeah, because it's nice, nice um, paper. You see, seventeen pounds on their website. So there you go, get a little discount mm. here. And I, I must remember her name. Who is it? Is it Laura? She's on the um, Laura. Laura's from So Different. She's amazing. And, um, yeah, she writes all the patterns. And she's been on a few times with a lady called Tree, who doesn't work for So Different. She's um, she's a blogger. She's a vlogger. Oh, on, yeah. Uh, she does YouTube demos. Yeah. And so she comes on with, with Laura and demonstrates lots of the patterns. All the different techniques and things. Yeah. So nearly finished there. And I'll just show you the, the shape of the... Of the neckline. And this is where you say you would understitch, which is understitching yeah. a bit like 
top stitching almost. What's the difference? It's because top they both... stitching on the inside, so you don't actually see the stitching oh. on the outside. So where you see that seam there, yeah. you always press it up okay. towards the air edge. And then with your machine, you then stitch it along there so that when you fold it round, you do not see the stitches. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then it stops it from curling round because you can see I didn't do it on there. Right. Um, but let me just pull that through. That's all in the instructions though, isn't it? It is. It does explain to you about that. Fab. All right, so there you have... <laughs> Your neckline. But obviously that's better once you... Then understitch. Yeah, and then you understitch and then that will stop that from happening. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Thank you ever so much. You're very Thoroughly welcome. enjoyed today. Have you? I've it's enjoyed great. today as well. Really lovely Sunday morning. And it's yeah. great to finally be on air with I you. I know, I know. Well, it's like been lovely. Loads of times. Yeah. Thank you ever so much for great demos. You're and very love welcome. to Gary, obviously. And uh, you've got lots of lovely messages to I, read on Facebook. I, well. I know. I've been starting to watch them, actually. And um, it's lovely because it's really encouraged Gary. Oh, good. You know, it, it's nice if people are behind you as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's lovely to see you and we'll see you very and soon. You, you say too, you're back Vicky. end of September. 27th of September. Fabulous. Thank you ever so much, Rachel. Right, do not go anywhere. We're going to have a quick roundup of all of the fabrics and the pattern right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. So the pattern, very, 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 very popular indeed. Remember, do check out as soon as you can. We have literally down to the last few of these. Um, in fact, 10, I think that's it. Size 8 to 26, so great size range as well. 14 pounds and 99 pence, which is great value for many. Remember, on the description on our website, you'll be able to have a closer look at the fabric breakdown if you do want to buy any of the Vista Coast fabrics or any of the other fabrics, in fact, that we've got on the web shop. Uh, we've put together some bundles to go with it. Remember, that's actually lower price than the price on the sodium. I don't know why I'm whispering, but if I whisper, then... If they can hear us, they might make us up our prices. But it's £17 on the So Different website, so absolutely make the most of it. And it's a beautiful flounce dress, it really is. And I think actually with some of the bundles that we've had today, it will look really autumnal as well. We've got a lovely summery colour, which is the one that Rachel made up for us already. This is £62.99, which four metres of fabric is brilliant. Great one to not worry about pattern matching or, or worry about directional print, I don't think. There is an, um, I, um, is there an obvious direction? I can't really see one. Uh, it's so beautiful though, isn't it? If you've got a pattern in mind, maybe, four meters is a lot of fabric. If you've got a different pattern in mind, it's a great way to get four meters. You can't get this by the half meter. It's only in today's bundle and it's been the most popular of the day. It's just 62 99 for a whole four meters of fabric, which is loads. The one that Rachel was working with was this one. It's called the Woodlands fabric which is the second most popular four meters of fabric for $62.99. The lovely birds, great colors. I think this is more, um, that deep green makes it really autumnal doesn't it? I imagine this with winter boots and a, a lovely big chunky cardigan. 
long woolen coat. Oh yeah, that would look really nice. $62.99 for four meters of fabric. As I say, it's very designer. There's a few designers that I'm thinking, that's what it reminds me of. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And I must say that, um, <laughs> I must say that that is um, four meters. That's four meters of fabric, so loads, which is enough to do your, uh, the biggest size on the pattern, which is a size 26. Okay. The last one was Rachel's favourite. This was the Peacocks. Oh, don't miss this one. I've got a feeling that because we haven't really seen this very much, don't let Paul put you off. I know he said it was his favourite. Don't let him put you off. He's a bit of a trendsetter, our Paul, you know. $62.99 and four metres of fabric. Um... This would look beautiful. How about having the whole dress in this and then picking out one of these colours to do that flounce, like one of the peachy colours or the navy blue even. It's so beautiful. All the other way around, would you have this as the flounce and just a plain, like match up this colour or, or you could match up one of the, the peaches. So you're gonna have plenty of fabric if you wanna do some accessories to go with. Look at the detail. This is again, beautiful viscose, £62.99. pence. The patterns, don't worry, we've got plenty of time. We've still got you with you for an hour before the replay starts. We've got loads to do though. Remember, we've got the uh, adjuster forms coming up in the next show. Those of you that um, love the so different patterns, as I know we all do, um, the long line jacket is the one that you've seen on the mannequin behind me here. Size is 8 to 26 again, so another great size range. It's 16.99. See, hang on. I don't know why the, um, I don't know why the flounce dress was the price that it was. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, this is 16.99. It's 8 to 26. Um, it's got all of your difference. It would be great for medium to heavyweight structured fabrics such as jacquards, twills denims, velvet, linen, bold wool, furnished fabrics, furnishing fabrics, this would be brilliant. You've then also got all of your sizing instructions, you're just going to need one metre of interfacing, which we've got the packets for, we had them at eight o'clock today, so they're underneath us on the website, but that's ever so smart, isn't it? That's something you could have as really smart, or if you are using it in like a jacquard, it would look beautiful, but if you're doing it as like a boiled wool, it would look quite cash actually, that you could just chuck on at a barbecue, it looked beautiful. So that's the long line jacket. I've also got the geo dress, which if you see it here in the image, then you can see where your panels are. Now where the seams, obviously there's chance to change sizes and, and adjust, but also there's chance to do color blocking. So you could have this as a different color. I love that it's got big pockets. Really nice. See, that would look really nice in Jersey with a pair of leggings. Let's see what fabric suggests. It suggests particularly good for crepe viscose fabrics. In fact, what about any of our fabrics? This one, if you want to do the geo dress, that would be brilliant. Also suitable for stable jerseys such as scuba. Um, you can also use double knit. We recommend making it at least one size small if you are doing um, a, a, a smaller size, if you are doing, sorry, a jersey. Now it's also got your layout diagram. This is slightly more difficult, it's saying, um, but I do like those strong geometric lines. So different pockets. We always love them because they're huge. They're good old pockets. Oh, do you know what? I don't have pockets in this card. I very rarely buy anything that don't have pockets. That was really annoying. Oh, it's just... Have you done that before? Thinking, oh, I've got pockets. Oh, no, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, it's really annoying, isn't it? I've thrown this away when I get home. No, I do love a pocket. I do love a pocket. This one again, great pockets. This is the cocoon jacket. Oh, this looks nice and snug. I like the relaxed. Uh, sleeves as well on it. It's a real contemporary design. Beautiful quality pattern paper. Uh, options on fabric on this. What options have we got? Suggested fabrics. Here you go. How about a medium to heavyweight wool, boiled wool, heavy cottons, denims, corduroy. Corduroy. Hang on, what's this one? Jabardine. Gabardine. I don't know, gabardine. Uh, felt, 
tweed, heavy knits, and then obviously your lining fabric as well. <laughs> Tightly woven fabric to make suits, overcoats. It's a twirl, uh, a twirl woven cloth, Siri has told us. Thanks, Siri. $14.99 for your So Different pattern. This is Laura. You may have seen her on air before. If you type in So Different and Sewing Street on Facebook, then you may have seen, um, you may have seen Laura on the show before. You can watch it back on YouTube. £14.99. Pounds. Sorry, if Laura's at home going, ow, you're poking my chin. <laughs> There you go. Um, right, we've got so much to do. And not enough time. We're with you for another hour. Adjuster forms, stripologies, Fisker's ruler combo. We've got free changing tool offer going on at the moment. Still loads more. Um, and yeah, time for a manicure still before midday? I think so. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. 
Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, welcome back. Happy Sunday. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday morning, whatever you're up to. I hope it's a nice, chilled, lazy Sunday morning. Ready cooking your Sunday roast dinner or whatever you're up to. I always went out for, um, after my show yesterday, I was having some soup at um, a restaurant that's opposite us. And there was a lady saying, she just bought this big leg of lamb for dinner. I was like, oh, I'm coming around for dinner. I don't know where I'm going for Sunday dinner now, but I'm really craving a roast dinner now. That'd be lovely hope you're having a lovely Sunday anyway we've got loads coming up this hour we were just talking about dressmaking and we will be talking about the adjusted form um dress forms which are brilliant um we'll do those throughout the show now already people checking out on the stripologies uh, we've got the three all three stripologies on today's show I'm going to mainly talk about the extra large one and the reason being is because I think that if you're cutting from full widths of fabric this is, going to be, uh, this is going to be absolutely ideal for you. Now, what I would suggest, one thing that is a must if you're getting one of these, is to have a mat that is big enough for you. Because I have at home a smaller mat, and when I got this stripology, um, my mat was too small for it. You want to make sure you can do all these cuttings. I mean, this one that I've got under here isn't a huge, huge mat. Don't get me wrong. You don't need to invest in the big Millwood one. This is, I think, an A3 one. Um, it's, it's, and it's plenty big enough. You can fit my, I can fit my whole ruler onto it. So for anybody who's not seen a stripology, um, I, I am going to go through what it is. Because when I first saw one of these, if I'm being brutally honest, I was very daunted by it and thought, there looks a lot of dashes, a lot of numbers. It's too much maths for me. I can't work it out. Whereas actually the great thing about creative grids and all of the rulers that they will make, they're quilting rulers, they're quilters who design them as well, especially for quilters. So they actually are eliminating the maths. They're eliminating the hard work for you. Now, a big part of sewing and being creative, now whether that be with quilting or bag making or whatever you're doing, is the preparation um, and cutting can be quite time consuming. 
Creative Grid have said on the front of their little leaflet that comes with this, the pamphlet, which are instructions, keep hold of it. The reason I say keep hold of it is because I've lost mine. Um, do as I say, not as I do. I've lost it. And um, Kat always says this, laminate it. And I don't know why, but she wants you to laminate it. It's a good idea, she's saying. So if you keep hold of it, it says on the front that it reduces up to 70% of cutting time. And the reason is you're not having to do the thought process of right. That size, they're always quite intricate sizes, I find, with, with cutting, like um, three eighths of inches and quarter of an inch and three and a, a quarter inch. And you're thinking, oh, I, I can't work out where the next cut would be. And the great thing about these rulers is it does it for you. So I've got this one, which is your XL. Now, those of you that might have seen the original Stripology, this is basically two of their most popular creative grid rulers that have been built into one. So you've got the original Stripology features. It's no bigger than the original, even though it says XL. It's because they've added more features. So the features that have been added are the squares. So not only can you cut all of your strips, you can also square up your blocks by the full inches and the half inch increments. It also has extra dashes to the side of the zero mark, which means you can butt your fabric up against that quarter of an inch mark, that half an inch mark, or that three quarters of an inch mark to get some more accurate cuts. Another difference with the extra large tripology ruler is that you've now got these 45 degree angles and 60, 60 degree angles, which means that we can now do triangles, equilateral triangles, 90 degree triangles, you can do all sorts with it. It still has the turnaround feature like a lot of the creative grids do. So as I say, this is where I would cut my strips and then spinning round, this is where I would trim my blocks. So it tells me from here, that's my four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, up to 12 and a half inch blocks. So, I mean, it, it is f absolutely fantastic. I like that you've got all of the dashes and all the lines and the markings as you run all the way through so you can keep that precision and accuracy. Uh, they, they do, um, it's good that you've got them in black and white depending on what fabric. So this one's a lighter fabric. I'm definitely seeing the black markings a lot clearer than my white markings on here. Also, just at the bottom of the ruler, it's got a little key chart here, which uh, has got a square and a star. Lots of patterns call for two and a half inch cuts, or if you're working with jelly rolls, you know, you can cut your own with the Stripology ruler. So you've got the two and a half inch, if you want to just keep cutting two and a half, you can just easily follow the square, and you can cut all of these strips. 20, uh, it is uh, up to 20, well, and three quarters, obviously, wide, inches wide. You've got cuts on every half an inch, in, inch increment. And also the stars are your inch and a half cuts. Now, of course, yes, you can square up your fabric. You can make sure that you're cutting nice strips, lovely and, and easily and very uniform, precisely and accurately by just lining up the bottom of your fold of your fabric onto that line of zero. And it's a really nice clear line. The bottom of the ruler has got these little teardrop shapes and that's designed to obviously be used with your rotary cutter. Um, for anybody who finds that they have, I mean, I don't generally have shaky hands, but when I'm cutting, I do. And I struggle to cut in a straight line. So this has really, really helped me to get my accuracy and precision in my cutting my straight lines as well. So just make sure the top of your fabric is lined up um, maybe with a line on your mat, make sure basically it's nice and straight. Now I'm doing this quite quickly with a bit of um, our fabric that we've had left over in the box, which might not be entirely straight. So what I'm gonna do just to make sure that I get that nice straight edge is to just cut at the zero mark first. Now, as I say, it just dips into this little teardrop shape and also you can layer up. So I've folded this over quite a few times in fact, but just depending on how comfortable you are with cutting, just Start off cutting through one layer and two layers and see how much you're, you're comfortable with cutting. It's also got between each of these slots, non-slip grips. So, I mean, I can move my fabric freely across the ruler. They're not sticking, it's not damaging my fabric, it's not going to leave any sticky residue. It will just simply engage when you press it down and that will hold in place. So, let me show me over to the side. So I'm gonna put my rotary cutter into that zero mark and make a cut there. Now, just because I know my two times table really well, I'm gonna cut my two, yeah, sorry, bragging here. Show off, I'm gonna go two, 
four, six. Now I could keep going along. I don't want to waste fabric. So I'm just going to do up to there. But you could keep cutting and cutting and cutting. And then take away, you've got all of these strips really quickly and easily. Now I'm just going to take one. And obviously from strips, I could place this onto the line and again, cut squares. Obviously, very easy. I could then line up all of my strips. You don't just need to do a strip at a time. You could do a strip and then line them all up. There's plenty of lines to be able to do it and constantly subcut. What I want to show you is using one of these um, degree angles. So if I place my strip, let me fold it in half. If I place my strip on the 60 degree angle, which is this line running along, like this. Obviously you can cut all sorts um, from my, tr my squares, I can cut them in half and do triangles. Now I still want to be able to get that first edge here with my zero line. I'm just going to shimmy that at home. Take a bit of time to make sure that you, your strips are nice and straight and all in the right position. But from these 60 degree lines or your 45 degree line, you can also make your cut again at that zero. And then I'm going to go two again just because I was cutting two inch strips. Four, six, eight, ten. Look at me showing off. Is there a 12 there? I'll cut the end of it off. And then from there, I have got diamonds. So from diamonds, this is my party trick. I'm just going to take one and bring it into, bring my ruler back. Obviously, this is where the smaller one's going to come in handy as well. If you're working with smaller pieces, you don't need to obviously look at your, be using your, your larger rulers. So then I'm going to put it on one of the solid lines right into the center. That's on my six. So if I go an inch either side of it, so if I go to seven and five, I'm also going to be able to cut very quickly, very accurately, hexes. How great is that if you want to cut loads of hexes for your EPP? It's so quick and so easy. And I mean, if you're layering up, as I say, you'll be able to get loads of hexes, loads of diamonds. You've also got the nice little triangles as well that come from your hexes. So nothing really goes to waste. It will reduce your waste. It will reduce your cutting time, which for me is invaluable because I have no patience when it comes to cutting. <laughs> I hate cutting. I always ask Kieran to do my cutting. He enjoys cutting. But um, it, honestly, these really, really help to reduce that prep time uh, and also not just reduce the time, but get the accuracy. When we're working with quilting and we're talking about precise sizes, quite often it's, it's something, well, it's always a word you hear is precision and accuracy, which I think is absolutely brilliant with these. Also, as I say, you can square up. You can also um, square up your finished blocks right up to 12 and a half inches. The white squares are your half inch, and then you've got the black squares here as well, which are your full inch. That's your creative grid ruler. There are so many people who I know absolutely swear by these and use them all the time. It isn't just for one project. There's lots of creative grid rulers which you might use for a certain block and then create other blocks with it, whereas this you will use for a majority of your cutting. So um, it is going to last the test of time. Store it flat, look after it, and it will it will look after you. It will last the test of time. Sixty one ninety nine. I understand it's an in investment, but for the amount of time and the professional finishes that you're going to get from your sewing, I think is um, it is invaluable. Just sixty one ninety nine. Now there are a couple of other options. Just going to put this under here. Um, the squared option. So it's very, very similar to the um, to the one that I was talking about earlier, or the one that I was just saying about. Also, what's key to say is that Creative Grids have got a huge online presence. If you go onto Pinterest, if you go onto YouTube, if you go online and search any of the rulers that you've had from Creative Grid, then you can very, very easily find some incredible inspiration of what you can do with your ruler. So this is a, a quick access point. I've told everybody at home, but did you know um, this, uh, this one is your QR code. So I know I've um, I've taught everybody this already, but I've seen it more and more. If anybody's been to a restaurant or to a cafe recently, then everyone's going all sort of 
menu free aren't they or with the track and trace so quite often you have to use your phone to get onto the website with the QR reader I didn't know I thought you had to download an app to do that which I thought was a bit of a faff so you can just open your phone camera onto that and it will link you straight to a website Paul didn't know that either till I told him there you go hopefully I've helped some more people as well so once again, all of these slots are in the half inch increments from, uh, of course, 0 to, to 12 and a half. You've still got the same key that I was talking about. So if you do want to really quickly cut your uh, two and a half inch strips, you can do that. It obviously just isn't going to, well, you can fold it over, I suppose. You've got a really clear crosshair through the center. And this again is designed to square up your blocks. Get those finished, nice squared blocks, get the finished results nice and accurate and then the mini now I always thought right what's the point in getting the mini really like is it who am I talking to when I was um when I first saw this so if I've got a big if I've got a big stripology then surely I don't need the smaller one I'm going to put this under it just so that you can see the markings slightly more clearly and actually it was Victoria Carrington who said to me do you know what the the large one very very useful this one just as useful so once again, same principle. It has the turnaround uh, feature. It slots every half inch increment as before. You've also got every quarter of an inch marked. You've also got these extra lines on the side, which are an eighth of an inch and three eighths of an inch. So if you've got a really intricate cut on pre-cuts where it says, right, you need to cut a one and three eighth inch strip, I'd be going, how on earth do I do that? Too many numbers for me, can't fathom it. Whereas that makes it really, really clear and easy to do. Um, your star cuts this time at one and a half inches. If I spin it round, it's still got all of these non-slip grips. So it glides over your fabric until you apply pressure and then it will hold in place. Now the other side, obviously it's still at the half inch cut, but they've done different measurements for you again, just to make it easier. So if you put the end of your fabric up to the zero line, then you're cutting quarter of an inch, three quarters of an inch, one and a quarter inch, which I would not be able to work out myself. That's every half inch, but because we've butted up across to the, uh, the dash line, makes it really nice and easy for us to work out those more intricate cuts. Now, it, it again has the option to square up your two inch, three, four, five, up to seven inch, um, well, seven, yeah, seven square, no, seven, no six and a half, because look, there's my six and a half inch cut, but you can still square up all up to six and a half inch blocks with this. You've got your quarter of an inch, as I say um, at the start, which is a great point as well to just quickly have a reference point of checking your seam allowance. But um, it's not it's it's not ideal to be lugging around your big stripology ruler if you're going to classes or if you're on the move or if you just want to do some subcuts on smaller fabrics, um, the smaller, it's smaller, but it is mighty. It really is, £36.99, eh, Paul? <laughs> and then the, the white squares in the centre here are for your half-inch squares as well, so you can do your squaring up on the half-inch increments. That's my girl. A few days ago, I don't know why, I said that really randomly about, was it about some brick or something that's my girl I thought why did I say that you know sometimes when your brain just starts talking you think I have no idea why I said that um okay so there's strip apologies if you've got any questions about them please do let me know I'd sit and talk about them for the whole hour but I know I've got loads to do so if you've got any questions let me know it's not very often that I say this because I always love the my whole uh, sort of reason why I love Sewing Street so much is because we're not someone who's going, right, you've got to buy this. This is the one to buy. And I don't necessarily believe in it. Whereas we are here being quite unbiased, really saying, right, there's this brand and there's this brand. This is the difference with this. And this is the difference with this. Now you make your own executive decision. Whereas if I'm being honest, from my opinion to yours, uh, Creative grids are fantastic at what they do and I wouldn't use another quilting ruler. I just wouldn't. Um, so I'm going against what I normally would say. I would buy creative grids over any other. And I know the, the reason that I'm saying that is because so many guest designers who I've met over the years have come in and said, 
oh, I've never used Creative Grids before and I've been converted. I think John Con Morgan's been converted with Creative Grids, which is amazing. He's never used them before. And obviously he's been a quilter for years and now completely converted, won't go back. So can't get him off him, Kat saying. Struggled to get the uh, Creative Grids back from him. So, um, Right, let's jump back to dressmaking because we were with our lovely Rachel today who's a brilliant dressmaker and when I last spoke about Adjusted Forms she actually messaged into the show and said, right, for anybody who is on the point of do I, don't I, do I, don't I, she was like, I'm giving you the courage to say go for it because it will make your life so much easier. We've got two different styles all in three different sizes. Now these will come directly from Adjust to Form. They are made here in the UK. Um, they are manufactured by a very, very small company who are extremely passionate about dressmaking. Now I've got a, a bit of information that I've taken from the Adjust to Form website. They are really, really good at what they do. The first one that we're looking at today is the one to the left of me. Now the great thing about Adjust to Forms is obviously that you can adjust them to your size. As Rachel was saying, um, she finds this invaluable when she's making dresses for herself and garments for herself. It's a lot of putting your dress on, putting it off, putting it on, putting it off, adjusting and trying to adjust it whilst it's on you. Whereas right from the start process of how is this fabric going to hand? How is it going to drape? How is it going to look on me? How is it going to look on my shape? So right from the start of your dressmaking journey, this is really going to help you along the way. It's $159.99, which I think is brilliant. I was only talking to Liam about this yesterday, actually, as um, someone over on our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, is really interested in actually bought one of these um, for his girlfriend. And they are extremely, extremely popular. But when I was talking about how much they cost to this person, I'm not going to say who it is, but um, when I was talking to, to Liam about it, he went, is that it? He said, he said I thought that these were going to be a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive. And he's got experience um, in the craft world as well. So you can see these little dials in the center of the bust there. There's ones on the waist, the hips, um, all the way through. You've got the neck adjuster all the way to adjust to, to exactly your size. And if you're making for other people as well, if you're making clothes for other people, you can simply write down their measurements and then change it and then go back to yours and, and just keep changing all of the sizes to whatever you want and write them down, jot them down and be easy to flip back to the other person if you understand what I mean. So why is it that a lot of people choose to use a dressmaking form? Um, I believe that we've got a, a bit of a, a, an image here to show you why people might choose a dressmaking form. Have a look at this. So. This is to check the drape of the fabric, as I said earlier on. Um, it, it's quite hard sometimes to see how fabric is going to fall. If you watch the Great British Sewing Bee, then you might see uh, quite often that is where the fails are in choosing the wrong fabric. So is, the, is it suitable for the pattern that you have selected? Style an outfit by draping, coordinating fabrics together, seeing how they look. For example, a jacket and a blouse together, if they look lovely. Doing the um, the uh, the contrasting fabrics like we did in the last hour of the dress, just to see how they look together. To fit a tissue pattern to a body that is our shape, obviously. If you're doing it flat onto the table, tables are completely flat. Our bodies aren't. So it's amazing to be able to have that dress form to place your tissue patterns onto. Check the placement of darts, pockets, buttonholes, to check everything is in the right position, to establish the position of collars and lapels, to position things like applique lace bits, trims, ribbons, any applique or lace on garments. Check or plan the placement for a machine embroidery designs. You don't want that in the wrong place. It's good to be able to see exactly where that's going to be positioned on your body. To pin sleeves in position uh, based on your shoulder length. Um, the, also, the great thing about this uh, dress form is that it has got that slightly overhang a shoulder. So it doesn't stop at the arm. So you can perfectly drape your shoulder sleeves and get that absolute lovely glide. So that drape correct, which is brilliant, and, and pin and tap them in place 
whilst they're on your uh, on your dressmaking form. If we go back to that image, please, Paul. So uh, then, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Pin sleeves based onto your shoulder um, and tap them in place. Then, machine stitch. Check the placement of your shoulder pads to, to check the ease and the hang of lining. That's a good one, actually, because if you've got a dress on, if you're trying it on yourself and then you look forward, as soon as you look forward, that will alter the length of it and the lining straight away. Whereas if it's there on the dress form, obviously you can alter the height of this so you can be working with it even on a table and really lower it down. So you can just be working on the lining or the hem. It, they are absolutely brilliant for that. It's really easy to store and, and not too heavy to move about. So yeah, that's another point. Let's go back to more. So marking um, to to um, to check the ease of the hang of the lining to fit and hang wedding gowns as you sew. I know that that's what Rachel does to mark hems. Um, the model that we're going to be talking about in a moment has also got the trouser um, and uh, short options as well. Accessorize your completed outfit. I must say, I just love seeing them as a kind of like an ornamental thing anyway. Uh, to, to hang my dress up if I'm going out over the weekend and you're like, right, do I like that outfit? Shall I, shall I coordinate it with some jewellery or, you know, it's, I think they look really nice anyway in your home. So if you don't have a dedicated sewing studio or sewing space, I still think that you can work them in with your, with your bedroom or your lounge or wherever you want to put them. So that's what's fantastic. Let's go through the sizes because this isn't the only size that we have. It comes in three different sizes. So the one that I've got here in the studio is a size A, which is your super fit size A. We've also got different sizes, so you're small. Now, as Rachel said, go with the smallest size of the mannequin because you can always pad out, you can't take away. So it's a good idea to be able to uh, to go for the smaller size on the scale. Now the bust is 33 to 41 inches, the waist is 24 to 32, the hips is 34 to 42 inches, and the back length is 15 to 17 inches. The medium size is the graphics that you can see now. The bust is 39 to 47, the waist is 29 to 37, the hips is 40 to 48 inches, and the back length is 17, 15 to 17 inches. The full figure is your 45 to 53 inches, your waist is 38 to 46 inches, the hips are 47 to 55 inches, and the back length is 16 to 18. So you can see on the right hand side of this slide as well, the super fit with an eight part body has just uh, has been used over many years by beginners and experienced sewer so enthusiasts. The body um, is split at the waist to assist those fittings with longer and shorter waistlines. 12 adjustable wheels, available in the range of sizes that you can see there. Adjustable neck with useful pin cushion. So, a lot of mannequins as well, or dress forms, might be plastic. This is really, really strong. It's still made with lovely strong uh, material, but then you've also got the pins. So you can pin your tissue patterns, you can pin your garments onto it, you can do any adjustments by pinning into the dress form itself as well. So that's handy to know, it's beautiful quality, really beautiful quality. Um, right, so we've ran through all three graphics. There's the graphics for the larger size. If you have got any questions about them, please do let us know. These will come especially from adjuster form so it will come separately with any of your orders that you've made today on sewing street so don't panic if you get your orders from us first it takes about a week delivery from adjuster form so if you get ours first don't worry your adjuster form will be on its way and they are made here in britain it's only a very very small team of people that actually manufacture them in fact it's mainly all in-house that manufacture all the parts as well they work on such high quality. You will have seen them probably in the press. I know quite often um, you do see them in different magazines. In fact, I think there was a slide, Paul, uh, which talks about, um, I think it was Tilly and the Buttons, if I'm not mistaken. Tilly and the Buttons are in a different magazine article talking about the importance, uh, again, of a Justiform. form. So there you go, in a, in a magazine there. But they are, absolutely invaluable if you're starting out dressmaking or if you are a dressmaking enthusiast. I think it's one of those things that you think, hang on, I didn't know how I used to live without this, the struggle of, of constantly taking dresses on, putting them on, checking to see whether things fit. Um, right, so 
that's your super fit. We're now going to have a switch over and have a closer look at the leg form as well, which is of course the same mannequin, same dress form, but this time with the option of doing trousers and, and, and shorts, which is brilliant. So for anybody who's not yet checked out the basket, this is a quick reminder of how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Again, very, very similarly to the one that we were just looking at, um, obviously this time in blue, and it also has the leg form option, which I again think is brilliant to be able to do, um, to be able to do jeans, trousers, shorts, so this is fabulous. So I'm probably going to mess up doing this because I'm going to try and do this now, but I just want to show you. Obviously, this is really lovely and lightweight. It is really lightweight. So if you do want to uh, to put it up on the table or however you want to do it, you can also, this is where I haven't practiced this, you can also obviously adjust this down. Let me try and pull this one one second. Bear with me. Um, do you know how I twist this cat? Oh, cat's put it up very, very high and tightly screwed it in, there we go, it's just loosened slightly. So then, also at the bottom of the pole, the bottom of the pole has also got lots of measurements. So if you're marking the hem, you can't see there, but on here you've got lots of measurements also, all clearly marked. And at the bottom you've also got this little contraption, which swings round, it's got a pump on the end, and you can put chalk in there to mark your hem. Now, the reason I wanted to take it off its legs, sorry, Paul, because I know you readjusted all the cameras, but the bottom of the dress, uh, of the mannequin, can you see that you've got two holes under here? So you can set it off centre, put it into the centre hole or the one to the side to be able to adjust any trousers. So, obviously, I'm sorry <laughs> to expose your modesty, our gal. Obviously, you can um, then put it higher. I've now dipped it down to a... Uh, that's my gal. I've now dipped it down. Here we go. So, have I put that into the centre? I have, haven't I? I was going to put it into the one on the side. Oh, no, typical. But you can then put it into the other side hole to, of course, then be able to adjust any of your legs, um, which... It's just a game changer, isn't it? For, of course, yeah, it, brilliant opportunity to be able to do legs and trousers and jumpsuits and things like that. So you've got your neck adjuster, your, your bust, waist, hips. We'll go through all the sizes. This one, I believe, is this B, is the B, which is the middle size. So it comes again in three sizes, like the Superfit, three sizes, the, the, um, the smaller size, is 33 to 41. I don't know why I'm out of breath after that. 31 to 41. Uh, 33, 41. Your waist is uh, 26 to 33 and a half inches. Hips, 36 to 44 inches. And your back length is 14.5 to 16.5. Um, the B, which is the one that we've got here. Oh, look, instead of me exposing her to the nation, um, on the right hand side, you can see that little how does it work? You can see the contraption where you can actually put it onto the other side. So B, you can see there, I believe, cat. I wonder whether, is this the sec is this the image on the description? Do you know? So we can see the sizes at home. We'll see if it's there because, uh, oh, take a quick screenshot if I were you, so you can see for yourself at home. But it's 39 to 47 inches, uh, 32 to 40 inches on the waist, 
hips are 41 to 49 inches and your back length is 15 to 17 inches. And then C, which is um, the, the largest size that we offer, is 38 to 46 inches on the bust, 38 to 46 on the waist. Yeah, there's a picture on the website. The hips is 47 to 54 inches and the back length is 16 to 18. Now, I've managed to just put it over to the other side. Mm, I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see. I lift it up. There you go. You can see that it's now off centre to be able to do any of your trouser leg adjustments as well. £159, I think it's brilliant value and you do get um, a warranty, you do get a guarantee through adjuster form. The size B is the one that we have in the studio, it's £159.99. Okay, if you've got any questions about either, please do let us know, please do let us know um, as if I can answer them on air, I absolutely will. If I can't answer them on air, then I will endeavour to find out the answer for you. Um, if you go onto the Adjusted Form website, though, they're really informative with lots of great information. But, um, yeah, it's under our postage and packaging, which is great as well. So if you've bought anything today, it's covered under one P&P. &P. You don't need to pay Adjusted Form's postage and packaging as well. It's just under ours, which is three ninety five all day long. That's the um, the larger size, which is $159.99. Same price again. Right. Just gonna plug in my little prim mini iron. Um, uh, we have got some of these in stock, haven't we? Yes, we have, let me plug it in. I must say, with my prim mini iron, it's got a really lovely, long, extra uh, strong cord, which those of you that have heard me say before, it's my room 101 thing, pet hate, is travel irons and travel kettles and hotel kettles and irons because the cord is like this short and you have to sort of sit in the corner of the room and make your tea and do your ironing don't you so what i love about this is again like our pool it's small but mighty it has got that really long nice power cord like your domestic iron at home so whilst that's heating up oh amazing that's what i like to hear you can have a little manicure cat said so I've got my Seams hand cream and I've also got my nail oil. Now I've got some open here which are mine from home. I absolutely love these. Nail oil first please because I need to do this in the right routine. Now I'm not going to ask Paul to show my nails please because it's um, they're, they're not great at all. I've not painted them for a few days. Uh, but what I was going to say about the nail oil is that I always thought this was a real treat that... I didn't even know you would do at home. If ever I had a manicure for a birthday or a special treat for a Christmas party and went to the nail salon to have my nails done and they trim your cuticles and they do all of those little bits and bobs, it's always a bit of a treat, isn't it? Whereas to do it at home, I always thought it was such a luxury. And I must say, with all of the hand washing that we've been doing over the last few months and all of the different anti-back gels that you go in when you go into a shop or you go to a restaurant, they can all absolutely take their toll on your hands and it just really will strengthen your nails. I've found that it, it really has with mine. So on the reverse of the packet, if I put it like this and you can see how many ingredients have gone into the Seams hand cream. It is designed to soak in immediately. So if you are worried about, you know, having something that's extra greasy, you don't need to worry with Seams. This has been... Uh, invented basically especially for us sewers the lady karen who invented seams uh, nail oil and hand cream she actually uh, came into the studio she did a whole hour talking about the nail oil and the hand cream so please 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 do uh, watch that back if you can it smells beautiful in fact it's actually the fragonia oil um that that makes it smell so so beautiful it really does just to make you aware i think this one does have macadamia nut oil in it um just to make you aware if you have a nut allergy now also if i turn it around to the next section of the box it's designed to help to uh, restore, soften and condition, that's the macadamia nut oil, the rosehip oil and the rice bran oils to nourish and even skin tone, to moisturise and enhance the skin barrier, hydrate and promote the skin renewal and to smooth with that beautiful 
coconut oil for a silky soft feel and it really does uh, and it isn't just for your hands do you get rough bits around your nails or your elbows do you get dry knees do you want nice holiday skin did i say nails and touch my elbow my elbow my knees behind my knees sometimes my heels in those you know little areas you can get quite dry skin what i do Sorry to talk about those dry skin areas on telly, but I'm just saying we all have them, don't we? So if you want to be like holiday skin ready, I put this on my knees and on my legs. It's lovely. It's really ever so soft. Um, 21 like they keep cutting off me on the camera because they're like, oh my word, you need to go home. What's wrong? But quite often I get problems with my cuticles where they go all flaky here and it does catch on things sometimes if you're working with a viscose or something it can catch whereas actually that has just already made me feel so nice now what i would suggest is if you do this at night give yourself a little hand massage treat yourself to a little hand massage before you go to bed um we tend to do one most mornings when we get here um the hand cream i think would make a beautiful gift for somebody now if you go to any of these real almost dermatological um, style stores that specialize, stores that specialize in um, really good quality hand creams. I think this is a brilliant price because you can pay over 20, 30 pounds for a good quality hand cream. And for the amount of ingredients that are in here, um, I think that Karen has offered a really, really great price. And she wanted everybody to use it. Now, whether it be a sewer, our, our jewellery making team, they all use the Seams hand cream. Anyone who does wire work or, or, or beading, hand sewing, then you know how your hands can be in ruins. Uh, the lady who invented this, she was actually went on a milliner's course and that's where the idea sort of derived from because there was no hand cream out there that she could use whilst on the course because she was worried using like Dupion silk and things that the grease would transfer. So it in stores, it, it does absorb instantly. It was, uh, it's originally created for seamstresses to help mend and moisturize their skin. Hard working hands leaving, without leaving oily residue on fabrics. It also has a temporary smell. So the smell of it isn't, how do I put this? It's not, it's not overly floral and it's not overly medical. Do you know sometimes when you're thinking about a, a more of a medical hand cream, it can be a bit, oh, strong. Whereas this, it's just a fresh smell. And it doesn't last, the, the smell actually disappears because you also don't want to transfer that smell onto fabrics. If you're doing things like wedding dresses, you don't want to obviously use hand creams that are going to transfer over onto the smell. But it's so beautiful. You don't need very much. You do not need very much. And especially with the year that we've all had, this would make a brilliant gift because it isn't just necessarily for, for sewers. Anybody who's doing washing up, anybody who's working as a key worker, NHS workers, or anybody who just wants something to look after their hands, then this is brilliant. I, I've just got one literally on the, the side of my um, uh, the side of my hand wash. After I've been hand washing, I always just put a bit of hand cream on um, as my hands have been ever so dry over the last few months. You can see there's loads of different ingredients that have gone into it, including macadamia nut oil, uh, designed to moisturize, soften, restore, nourish and smooth, enhance skin barrier, even skin tone, strengthen nails, which is a great one for me, and also that comforting smell of the Fragonia nut oil, uh, the Fragonia oil. So, great gift idea for somebody at $13.99. Now, I've got a big saving for you today. The Fiskars Rotary Cutter Combo comes with the changing blade tool at the moment. Now, you might have already seen this quite a few times, so I'm not going to demo it today, but... Um, please have a look online and see any demos if you want to. Easy blade change, especially now we've bundled it with this. Now, this is normally £30 on its own. This is normally £30, the blade change tool. While stocks last, we've got how many in stock? 16. Not 60, 1-6. 16. Uh, the blade change tool is normally £30. Because it's got five rotary blades. It's got five 45 millimeter rotary blades in there. So we should be, if my maths are right, at 100 and 109, 109 saying it's saying on the website, which is brilliant. It is a 40, um, a 45 pound saving. Oh, so here you go. Look, it says 31.49 saving on here. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But you're saving over £30 anyway. You're saving over £30. Now, the on the back of the ruler, it's got how you change the blade. There are plenty of videos online. And it's Fiskars so that you know you're getting brilliant, brilliant quality. Now, it is a standard 45 millimeter blade rotary cutter and it engages when you just press. So if you have any, if you do struggle with gripping or if you've got any dexterity problems, this might be a great option for you. It also has the ruler that's included attached to it, almost like a guillotine. So left-handers and right-handers can use it. You can just obviously spin it round and use it as a right-hander or a left-hander. It's got a lovely cushioned grip and a 45 millimeter blade included. Um, the, blow, the blade is only exposed when you add pressure. Nothing explodes, don't worry. Um, Add pressure and the blade will be exposed. <laughs> um, we've got 16 of these left in stock. As I say, for the last 16, you're also going to get the blade changing tool. How long have we got? Oh my word. I thought we had about 20 minutes left. Okay, so today's, um, today's early bird special was a beauty, absolute beauty. Whether you're a, a quilter, dressmaker, bag maker, we always need marking tools. I know that even today, Rachel, who'd never used them before, she says, I think I'm converted after the, uh, the tailor's tack on air. So obviously all of your fabrics, whether it be a viscose, whether it be a cotton, even a darker color, we've got all of these different colors that come in your bundle, whether it be a denser hessian, let's go green on there. And let's show you the black. So you've also got the rubber on the end if you want to use it on paper, you can. But what we love it with crafters is that, of course, with a touch of an iron, like magic, your markings will disappear. Now, obviously, be aware that if you are pressing things a lot, <laughs> your markings that you might want to stay there will disappear. But it is so much quicker than dabbing it with a cloth on every fabric, give it a little test before, um, just to check you check that you're happy with how it removes on a little bit of scrap like we are here. But I'm happy with how it removes on all of those. All four friction pens today, £11.96, even if you're using it on paper. Half of the stock is now left. You're playing noughts and crosses and you want to do another game. Maybe an important document that they say you can only use it on, a, a, only use you know, a, a black pen to do it or red pen to do it. There you go, today, and again, just using the rubber on the reverse, 11 pounds, 96. Right, that was just a very quick, brief mention of today's early bird special. So, just noticed something sneaky on the website. I have no idea how, whether it be transactions incomplete or whether it be that we've got another two that have just snuck into the system. But I thought I'd make you aware because I've not seen these yet, but I heard all about them the other morning from Sarah. Um, Sarah, one of our guest designers, she bought one of these in the show. She was one of the very lucky few that managed to get it because it's incredibly limited. So this is the Elna Embellisher, Janome, sorry, Janome Embellisher. Um, how much is it? 350, oh, there you go, 359 pounds, and you get loads of goodies worth over 100 pounds. So for anybody who's not seen it, please watch back the show. It was on last week, uh, last Wednesday, was it? With, with Jane. Here's some details about it. So it features solid five needle unit. If you've seen Delphine do needle felting, um, very, very similar to that, but on a machine, basically. It's not a sewing machine, it is an embellisher. So it comes with a free extension table with a special needle kit. It comes with DVD, instructional DVD. It is incredible. And I know so many people that were like, oh my word, I missed it. Are we going to get any more in? We've got two. <laughs> so it's the fastest two to check out. It might have even been scheduled for my show tomorrow, but um, we've just noticed it in the uh, on the system on the website. So just thought I'd update you on that. It's definitely worth it. If you've bought anything today already, check on the web, see what's on there. The thing's always being booked in. Every single day we see different things on there that weren't there the day before. Um, Sarah, who's one of our guest designers, as I say, she's already got hers home and she's already been making. She said, just seen um, a post by Val asking how people are getting on with their embellisher. Um, for those of us that bought it last week, two words, love it, so much fun. I've been playing around, it's a great way to create fabric that you can then use your die cutting machines to make fabric flowers with them. 
Oh, that's exciting. I uh, had to stop playing now as it, um, as I have September show to prep for, but seriously, a great machine. Right, we need to get Sarah on demoing it, I think, don't we? Because that looks awesome, doesn't it? You can make such incredible artwork. So, um, only got two of those. Just noticed it on the website. There it is. Speak to the customer service team. Your item code number is VAWQ78. Fantastic. Um, Prim Iron, by the way, is on the website. Uh, it is on the website. Please do make the most of it <laughs> whilst you can. Um, we've got tomorrow's show. Catherine is going to be joining me with a cross back linen apron. I'm really excited for tomorrow's show. We've got myself uh, and Kat with you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Oh, in fact, we might have the big boss back in. Hayley, I think, might be producing tomorrow. Um, at 9 o'clock, we've got Lewis and Irene, Fabric Deals coming up at 9 o'clock. Catherine's going to be joining me again at 10 o'clock. And we've got an applique picture kit. 11 o'clock is going to be busy. We got all the early birds. We've managed to get some back in stock, especially for this hour. Are they on the um are they on the website already? Okay, I'm not saying anymore. Go to the website, but please don't buy everything because I don't know what I'll do at eleven o'clock. I'll prepare a song and dance for you if everything's sold out by the time I get to eleven tomorrow. <laughs> stop buying, stop buying. You don't want to hear me sing and dance. Um, and then we are, of course, uh, going to show a repeat show of today's stylish uh, stylish shopper bag. Now, sorry, Neil, but you're not getting any more airtime. Quite frankly, Paul's decided that we're not airing yesterday's show. No, I know it was a really special day yesterday. It was free postage and packaging, so I don't want anybody, a lot of the things sold out, so I don't want anybody ringing up going, oh, really disappointed. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the first hour. For anybody who was a late riser this morning on a Sunday, the next hour you're going to see was myself and Rachel making some beautiful bags. Um, so thank you ever so much for your company. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. It's been a pleasure to spend Sunday with you. I'll see you again bright and early tomorrow morning. Hope you can join me at eight o'clock.